All right, all right, all right, all right. Episode 29. You already know I got to do a couple of things here, but uh, if you are tuning in right now, you can just submit your stuff to this right here. The lower third, it's all information right there. All you need. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tweet this out per usual. You know the vibes. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit up the Discord because the Discord is uh, lacking that information. And yeah, we'll get started in the meantime. Just give me a shout out. Tell me how the vocals are sounding. What's going on, Gary Smith? Good to see you up in here. Let's go ahead and put this in general. And uh, tell everybody to pull up. Everyone, everyone, one, one. Thank you for the hearts. Music reviews. Boom, 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 and enter. Boom. And then, uh, yeah, roll on around. Music reviews. Uh-huh. What's going on, DMG? Tyrone Sellers up in this bitch. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good, everyone? Uh, you don't have access to the Discord? Well, just message me on Discord and I'll give you the access that you need. Uh, otherwise, I mean, you don't necessarily need it. Just let me know that you put something in the description box. Big shout out to the 20 people that are watching right now and the three likes. Appreciate that. Make sure that you hit that like button because that helps these shows keep going. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the biggest things here. Uh, you smoking. What's going on? What is good? What's good? So... No, it's not too late to send something if you want to send something. So, you know, if that's the case. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is uh, lower this volume on this music because it is a little too loud. Right around in here. I think that's in the pocket there. So I don't feel like I'm sc screaming while I'm streaming. And uh, D. Rich, I see you up in this thing. What's going on? What's good? What's good? Make sure y'all hit that like button. Again, it's greatly appreciated. It's 51 degrees out here in Atlanta, Georgia. So, yeah, the weather is mild you know what i'm saying it's not the weather that i want <laughs> i tell you that much i got socks on or i'm about to put some socks on honestly because uh <laughs> my feet are cold my feet are cold and everything else is cold yeah damn uh, let's see here music review boom let's go over here and then i'm gonna go ahead and make sure that everybody knows about al all right so good to go it's been a minute since i've done one of these you know i i've been in and out of social media for quite a minute uh, as far as like november i that was the last time i was really really hyperactive and uh i have plans on making sure that i stay hyperactive uh february on the rest of the year yeah. of course you know i got some of these discrepancies up in my studio right now i don't know why well i know why i gotta shorten the wire that's one of the reasons why uh and it's pissing me off. Uh, Philip, what's going on? Tor Tog, what's good? Uh, Julie, oh, what's poppin'? Just got your SP4 Mark II on Live One, can't wait. Thanks, my guy. Uh, well, my pleasure. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. But all right, 32 concurrent people up in this thing. Uh, Bash Ali, what's good? It's always a pleasure to see you up in here. I gotta get a couple of things situated right here and I'm gonna go and uh, set it up for success now. And uh, let's go ahead and access the Be Review Stream email. Of course, everybody that's a Discordian, you, you guys will always have everything to go. I want to do a little bit of housekeeping per usual, you know, as I do the meet and greet and greet everybody. Uh, lighting seems okay, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, everything's fine. Uh, what's going on? The seventh nemesis was good, was good. Onassis Martinez was good. Hey, uh, Chrome Heart Yuki was good. Was good. Was good. Was good. Was good. Uh, I think I do have to make one adjustment though. I do not have a cash app anymore due to the stupidity of the internet and people. Uh, it's actually my own doing. You know what I'm saying? I was doing something I wasn't supposed to do. 
but uh, eventually, you know, it came in. So I don't have a cash app. If y'all gonna send something or whatnot, just send it uh, via the PayPal link in the description box uh, and uh, submit music. I'll, I'll just t type that in. Submit music here and uh, boom. Give me the screen at gmail.com. You know, anybody that is an official, what's going on, CFJ Music? Always good to see you up in here. And Andre Mac, what's good? What's good? Please read description we're gonna see how many people will read that you know but anyways I don't done my due diligence here I think I can click on it maybe there you go because that little heart thingy always be in the way so I got that pin that pin comment should be good to go and I'm, I'm starting to receive things from people so let's go ahead and get to it as far as the damn I forgot I had that my um my stream deck is acting wild. I don't know why. It, it, it does that from time to time. My stream deck be going crazy or whatnot. But anyways, so <laughs> damn, I let that stream <laughs> like that. But yeah, I've been that thing's been getting some work, boy. That that MPC Key 37 has been getting that work. But anyways, so uh, big shout out to everybody that supports uh, 16levels.com. Uh, I do appreciate everybody for making that happen those who create for it those who support 16levels.com greatly appreciate it uh, if you are looking for courses on any of the npcs of course i do not have a course for the npc key 37 i should have had it uh given all the things that i i do and i've had it for quite a minute you know what i'm saying but it will it's on the way it's on the way so don't worry about it but yeah uh, check us out at 16levels.com. If you shop all over at 16levels.com, you will see all of the new stuff that has been added to the website. Uh, we have the new core books. Big shout out to MG The Future, which is for Scalar 2 exclusively. And these are ones that you do not want to miss out on. Uh, he dropped the Trapanese Sample Pack Collection not too long ago. It's a collection of pretty dope themed Japanese trap-like samples. Uh, I will indulge in that in the weeks coming because why not uh, if you have uh, a need or uh, addiction to Electra X or Electra 2 well we have an expansion over here uh, done by me and Ocean View Ocean View did 1988 while I did crash and those are themed and good to go uh, Marlo Diggs and me have a collection of drums and stuff like that so if you need some quote unquote lo-fi hip hop or just like some vintage hip hop drums we have that on deck uh, those are our best put together and of course if you want some one shots uh, produced by Jack big shout out to produced by Jack he's a, a big supporter of the channel and I've collaborated with him and thank you so much uh, to produced by Jack for allowing me to collaborate with you on, on many occasions uh, we have the Sim Palace bundle and, and many other bundles too. Uh, right now, you can get uh, $10 off for orders of $60 and above. Uh, I am going to have a sale soon. Uh, we're going to have a sale soon, so you know, stay tuned for that. Uh, and also, you know, it, there's other bonuses and stuff like that too. You can sign up for the mailing list and you can get a, a special discount uh, that you can carry along with you. I don't know if it's one time or not. Uh, but yeah, those are the things that we have. We have the courses over here where we have MPC master classes and stuff like that. A uh, big shout out to Perk Dog for that artwork that he provided. I just wanted to use that. I'm probably gonna use that as an album cover because I haven't done that. Uh, we have a way where if you have not ever shopped with us over there at 16 Levels or if you just want to sign up for a master class, we have uh, a how to access your master class course or uh, account set up in general. You know, we just make sure that everything is nice and tight. But uh, the most popular one is definitely the MPC Live 2 master class. The second one is the MPC 1 master class, uh, by the way, and then the MPC Key 61, the MPC X. And then we are, I also offer private lessons myself. So all you have to do is just set up something for the schedule or whatnot. And I'll be on the way on that. So uh, make sure that you, if you really need that extra assistance, that's the best way to reach me, not on social media. I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, respect the due diligence and thank yous 
all out the way. And then you want to shop for some sounds, you can always shop for some sounds here. We got NPC chord progressions, NPC expansions, sample packs, preset banks. And all you have to do is click this drop down menu and you will be able to see what we have as far as preset banks. We have stuff for flex beat. If you are into flex beat and you've got the flex beat plugin uh, for standalone, it does work for standalone. And I have a whole long video about that and how to use that. Uh, and yeah, so you can see all this stuff, drum kits and midi kits in one shots. All these things are not made by me. Uh, they are made by other members and, and people of the community that you are very well and fond of and they are all solidified and if not as good, better than me. That's how I like to work. And if you wanna learn more about us and what we do and whatnot, I have uh, some more information about that. There's, I dedicated this website to my mother uh, because she would want me to continue to work and, and do all of that stuff that we do over here. So, yeah, make sure that y'all support us over there at 16levels.com. Uh, and, yeah, get you some dope-ass sounds. Sounds that I've used all the time, if you ask me. Of course, okay, I don't, I don't do any of the cap shit, you feel me? So, that wraps that up. Um, OSR The Journey, thank you so much for the dono. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a heart. I like how they did that so that, you know, we can actually interact with some of the donos and stuff like that. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and uh, yeah, so with all that, with all due respect, so here's how things go. If you want to become a member of this channel, uh, make sure that you are on a desktop, uh, laptop or something, some source, Windows or Mac, and you can hit that join button and joining gives you uh, immediate benefits so that you know that uh, you'll be a part of the discord make sure that you visit the members only tab as far as the community tab there's a members tab on this channel uh, all you have to do is just click on my pfp or avatar and or app mccree and then you'll be able to access all this stuff on the home page where you just go and click on the community tab and you'll be able to see you know how you can get to the discord and and uh, it will add you you know as it should because i have wrote scripts so that it can automatically add people so if you're complaining about not being added or not having access then uh, you should try that first if not trying that if, the, if that fails then please by all means reach out to me i cleared out like all the the weird messages i get on uh, discord and whatnot and i do apologize for not being active on discord you know uh, life life happens life things happen so um, all of that is all out the way. God bless everybody that's here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to get these juices up here, these creative juices, and we're going to get started. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Pause. So I see that we got people that have sent stuff in, and we're going to listen in order. That's how we usually do on here. But uh, uh, like I was saying, though, and I almost got off a of topic here, uh, we have a music review that is exclusively for people that are members on this channel. So becoming a member does help. Excited for their listening session. Hey. Appreciate ya. Hey. So, hey, I don't have no effects or anything, so that sucks. But anyways, um, becoming a member does give you priority over people that are sending stuff in for free. That doesn't mean if you send something in for free that you won't get listened to or anything like that. I'm just letting you know that uh, I will make sure that people that have supported this channel or are supporting this channel does get first, first priority. Uh, if you do not want to become a member, it, you have to pay a juicier $20 minimal to get your music played. If you want, if, if you really want your music heard, it doesn't mean, and why do I do the quotation marks for that? If you really want your music heard and you're in a rush and all that, that's how you get my attention. That's only fair. Uh, I know people don't like that, I'm sticking to the guns, baby. Blah, blah, blah. I make my own uh, sound effects. Blah, 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 blah. So, for sure. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, we got some people on deck here. I got to work with the numpad here, uh, which is cool. This is the reason why I bought a laptop with a, with a numpad. So we got, I believe, Andre Mack up first. So let's go ahead and hear that. No clouds. Let's kill the music. Let's get these vibes going. Let's get it. So, Andre, Andre man, 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 my bad. My bad. My bad. Let's, my bad. let's hear it.
that was Andre Mack on the track. Uh, what do y'all think about that, chat? I'm asking y'all. Uh, what's going on? Wagabus up in the building. What's good? What's good? It's good to see a moderator up in this thing. Always, as it is to see everybody. Big shout out to all the members that are in. Two nickels. What's good? Uh, big shout out to you. Uh, I know it's been a minute since I've done one of these. It's been like almost a month and some change, so. But um, definitely a good melody. I like the R&B vibes. You know, we barely, rarely get that on here. So that's one of the things I can just appreciate for what it is at the very moment here. And um, I do like the, the ongoing melody. The chord progression in itself was nice. Um, and uh, some of the instrumentation is all. The instrumentation sound selection, which is very important, uh, has it matches, you know what I'm saying? It's not something wild or anything like that. Not, not that I have anything against that. So uh, that's one of the things I enjoy about listening to people's music and their interpretation. Uh, and, and this is nice and safe. Very good stuff there, very good stuff. So uh, big shout out, big shout out, big shout out. All right, Dan, I see Solst uh, Solstice Beats has uh, submitted some tracks there. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is this, I'm gonna go ahead and get to one of the members here and uh let's get to those vibes so big shout out to that if you want to send stuff in make sure that you know that it is um right here uh send music to be review streams at gmail.com uh pretty easy and make sure y'all check out the description box and don't be sending nothing wild or anything like that uh, i'm not logged into my spotify so let's go ahead with, with uh, cjf music That was that CJ was up CJ on the track. What y'all think, think about that? About that? Chat. 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 Wow. 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 And when I say this, I don't mean anything, any offense. I know as artists, nobody really likes to be compared to someone or, you know, say that someone's flow sounds like or, or your flow sounds like someone else or anything like that. But it's more of a term of endearment, I guess. Uh, definitely reminds me of Kendrick. I uh, want as far as the flow goes and it, the little the solid delivery, as I almost stuttered there, is welcome, welcoming. Uh, the lyrical content definitely spitting those bars shall i say and that is one of the things it's easy to listen to you know and that comes from just music bias in general with me so don't worry and take it anything any offense when i have a personal preference or anything like that i try to stay as unbiased as possible when i do these uh, music reviews because uh, we're not supposed to sound exactly the same that's that safe shit is what's really killing the vibe for me for music in general as it is I've, I've heard plenty of people all the time, but one of the gracious things about it, guess what? Uh, music is more on demand than, there, than anything. So, you know, those are the things that I totally uh, get. Uh, big shout out to Wagabus for the dono. Uh, the beat in itself was a very good choice. It wasn't doing too much, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes the music will... Oh, can... Big shout out big to shout the new subscriber. subscriber. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. Hey. hey. 
So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, one of those things that I totally enjoy uh, is when the track actually matches the artist. You know, sometimes the artist doesn't pick the right type of track that will complement their vocals. Sometimes they got too many highs and their voice is uh, high pitched, and that makes the track in itself a, a little bit annoying to listen to. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one of the biggest issues when it comes down to. Uh, music in general is existed since the beginning of time it was not on you or a certain generation or anything like that uh but yeah there was so many things that are memorable about that track that would make me want to listen to it uh just exclusively you know what i'm saying uh it's kind of in the sense of that i've been listening to realtors uh music from uh what was it a, a month ago a month and a half ago with riddler and you know what i'm saying i did send him some tracks too by the way it wasn't cap shit uh, I, I don't haven't been on IG as of lately, so you know. Anyways, so that is pretty much it about that. I just want to go ahead and uh, how you not know J Cole, bro, <laughs> bro. <laughs> uh, I definitely said that's J Cole. Oh damn, that's what that was. Oh, it is what it is. Well, there's part, pretty much a part of that that same kind of elk. And with J Cole, J Cole has kind of changed up over the years, bro. Like. Uh, one of the songs, his most popular song right now, I would not have guessed that was him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, alongside with uh, Old Boy. And trust me, I'm way out the loop. I don't listen to a lot of uh, popular music. So, uh, and yeah, the, the last time I listened and loved J. Cole, uh, I, and y'all gonna be mad at me, but it happens to be when he was introduced by Jay-Z on the Blueprint 3 album. And, and that was hit or miss for me, but J. Cole definitely has the lyrical content that I, you know, would listen to more often than not if I was into, like, you know, popular music or whatever. Anyways, so enough of that talk. Uh, I know I'm looking for Solstice Beats, and Solstice Beats, I've looked up your stuff, and I did not see you up in here. So Solstice Beats, if you can, uh, make sure that you send an email. Uh, or if you're not sitting, if you didn't send it to Beat Review Stream, uh, make sure that your email has your name in it, Solstice Beats or something like that, so I can get to it. I don't want to sit here and act like I'm robbing you. So we're going to go ahead, go ahead and hit up Wagabutt because Wagabutt uh, just put something into the collection plate since the Sunday, goddamn. And we're going to listen to his track right here. So this is Wagga uh, with Sweet Spot. Let's get it. Undergone Trace Morin.
That was Wagon Track. Track, 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 track. What y'all think about that chat? And big shout out to the donor. I really appreciate you had to do that. You could just wrote something in the comments or the chat, and that would have been good enough for me. Uh, but I have it up there, and I appreciate that. Uh, you on deck. But uh, back to the track. Very smooth joint, you know, very grown manish, as we already know how Wagga, you know, comes off with his vibes. And uh, that's one of the main things that I appreciate. He's always made that president when he first came in with the Laura Harvey classic track. And I finally downloaded that yet again. Uh, hopefully I won't lose it. Um, I, no, it is not on Dark Coffee Radio either, so. But yeah, I, I love the, the bongo play in it. You know, that was one of the biggest things that I enjoyed about that track. Uh, you know, um, modest mix. It wasn't a, a terrible mix. It wasn't a bad mix. Uh, it wasn't a phenomenal mix, but it was a good enough mix to where there was a balance in it. You know, they, they could have stretched the dynamic range, but dude, look. And when it comes to beats and in, in general, uh, I'm not that harsh on it because I already know how it comes down as someone that makes beats myself. I, sometimes it's just like, hey, here it is, it, it's there. And then, you know, we pay dearly when, when it comes down to, you know, the other things, if you're pursuing a music career. Anyways, yeah, dope stuff by Wagga Butt, man. Greatly appreciate it. We're gonna go over here and uh, check out Solstice Beats. Uh, you know, he had his joint, uh, they, they had their joint submitted, so I'm gonna go ahead and play uh, Twilight Transmission. So let's go ahead and give that a listen. Bars, hey, you know the vibes. That was a teaser there. We're gonna run it back though in the background as we talk about it. For Da Vibes. Thank you for the donut. But uh, I believe that was Solstice Beast on the track there. He's going under another alias. And uh, yeah, uh, the first thing that I like about it is definitely the drum selection. The drum selection, uh, nice, heavy, sturdy, banging drums and uh, the actual pattern itself was very complimentary of the actual melodic so uh, those things are working out very well for this track i like that uh maybe uh, it had a lot of space for the drums i don't know if i'm actually uh gonna say it doesn't uh well, dynamically doesn't really hit me but uh, because I like drums to be loud, you know what I'm saying, versus everything else. Like, I don't touch my drums at all, but I do touch my melodies up. So, big perk dog in the, oh, building. In the building. I don't have any sound effects. My damn st stream deck is acting wild, you know. I don't know what's up with that. But, yeah, very well done track, though. Nonetheless, uh, the vibes definitely were in its balance there. So, uh, right. So... What we're gonna do is go over here. I'm gonna make sure that I have uh, everything in order here. I gotta go over here to uh, Streamlabs real quick and make sure that everybody's getting touched up on. Uh, I don't know if OSR The Journey, if he was just, just supporting the stream. He said, excited for the listening session. Okay, so, you know, uh, we did Big Wagga. And you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at the members uh, Discord right here. I got like a, a curved 30 inch now. And, you know, I don't know how this, mission this journey is going to be but you know 
whatever. As far as my computer, it's not bad, but we'll see how it works for gaming. I don't think it's gonna be all that great for gaming, but hey, I made the decision. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go back into the beat review and, and uh, we're gonna go back into the inbox and we're gonna play it by alphabetical order. So if you are seeing me skip people or anything like that, it's not because I'm just doing and picking people at will. It's just that I listen to stuff in alphabetical order unless things are donated. You can find all that information in the description box. You know, big shout out to all the people that do support the channel and whatnot. Did you get a Mac Studio? Uh, no, I did not get a Mac Studio. I have been flat out broke. Uh, just been flat out broke and, and just trying to take care of the essential things like paying the rent <laughs> and my bills. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and whatever else falls after that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to Red Line. Uh, he has a Playboy Cardi type beat. Let's go ahead and hear it. That was Redline red line on the track. What y'all think, think about, about that? that. Hey. hey. Interesting, interesting. The way it came in, I wasn't sure. I was like, Playboy Cardi? That doesn't really feel like something that Playboy Cardi would rap on. But then again, I'm not really in fine tune with a lot of the modern music. You know, I'm fond of Playboy Cardi just for research purposes and just trying to find out what people like when I'm sound designing and stuff like that. Uh, that's usually when I indulge with anything that's a modern day music or anything like that. So uh, we have definitely done some sounds and stuff like that over there at 16levels.com um, that, that complement that type of vibe. And yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, there, you know, my one thing that I guess if I was to pick on you about something, I don't know if the, the drums really, really fit. I would like to see... Uh, the, the drum line, this right here, this drum line is cool, but I would take it out for the other instances of it. I don't know if that's something of the stipulation of what you did melodically and if it's a sample or not, none of my business at this point, but you know, uh, technology has pushed itself a little bit further in our space, especially with sampling, because you can remove stems and if you have FL Studio, you're able to do that. And uh, in, you know, if you don't have FL Studio, I feel bad for you because, uh, you know, there's other tools like Serato Sample and stuff like that. If you, you know, I'm want to man, keep I'm it broke. fresh. Uh, thank Send you. a couple tracks. Father thank Dad the great at gmail.com. Thank you for the donor. I greatly appreciate, I greatly appreciate it. it. I appreciate, I appreciate it, it a whole lot. lot, 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 lot. Um, but yeah, other than that, though, you know, it could be me because... I did listen to, I, I think it was a Travis Scott's Utopia or something like that, whatever the name of the album was. And, and it had something similar kind of vibes in terms of its drum play. So maybe that's in, slightly inspired by that though. It says Playboy Cardi over here. So who knows? But not bad, not bad. Thank you so much for the no-no. Um, yeah, I could play that for you, Solstice Beats. Uh, just give me a seco there. Uh, I, I got people that's donating and then I got people that are, you know what I'm saying? I try to give people a fair shot because, you know, sometimes when people donate, you know what I'm saying, people, other people get hard pressed. You feel me? Uh, what was this? Uh, let's see. Just got the key 37. When was that? Eight? Oh, that was eight days ago. Okay, cool. Let me get back up here and uh, look. All right. So. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. Can you play the other track I sent called Pacific Highway? 
Yeah, I can. Like I was saying before, you know, I just try to, you know, make sure that people get heard because, you know, that is a thing where people get upset. They get, their feelings get hurt. People get upset. And I, I don't blame them. You know what I'm saying? Especially, it takes a lot of balls to, to send stuff in for music reviews because I've, you know, even though I'm like one of the pioneers of this, I'm not one of the biggest figures in this space. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, respectfully. Right, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead. We'll, we'll get back. We'll we'll play the other joint in a seco. All right, I believe that's the right one, or maybe this one because it says 540. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to get a good day's work in uh, within maybe an hour and a half. You know, because I started a little late today. I do apologize. And uh, DJ Father Dad is on deck with Black Metal. Let's hear it. That was that DJ was Father, DJ. Dad on the track. What you think about that, chat? chat, chat, chat. Um, Waggas asked me, am I streaming at negative 6 dB or not? Uh, yes, I do. I, I made the decision when I go live or whatnot to use extra compression uh, while we're doing a live stream just to stop a lot of the clipping and stuff like that to give it rich. Um, the, the experience in itself is honestly lower in volume, so you really got to push it. But, you know, as far as the audio quality, I think it's the best for that. Uh, what I can do to circumvent that so that you guys have an idea or a grand scheme or whatever, I can just pull up Insight too so y'all can see, you know, whatever I'm talking about is not cap or anything like that when it comes like to the mixing stuff. Um, as, as far as that goes, uh, I do like what DJ Father Dad put together. He said it was all MPC broke, plugins, no doubt. Sent in a track also as well to be critiqued track entitled Spend the Night DA Bedroom M-I-X-X-X. Thank you for the dono. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate all support that is coming to this channel. Uh, it makes things like these uh, shows a whole lot easier to do. Um, I'm not going to go into the spill of anything. Uh, but yeah, so when I'm talking about this track here, if my only suggestion is when you're working on an MPC or anything like that, like a group bus in general, they have a... Uh, thing about pushing highs a little bit more especially when you are listening to it uh, through the actual machine itself and through headphones hopefully through studio monitor headphones by the way uh, that you kind of roll off the high frequencies because the that hi-hat that sh that needs to be lowered a little bit more so that it's not so distracting but uh, other parts of the mix not so bad you know what I'm saying? Uh, they fit pretty well. Now, I'm very comfortable with using the MPC plugins. Uh, do I like them all? No, but I do like what I like on there. Uh, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it a whole lot in this coming week. Um, I think I'm, I got some. I got some stuff I gotta handle. So, got to do that. That's what's up. But uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, I'll make sure that I stay on task though. Let's get it. You feel me? So. But anyways, yeah, good stuff from DJ Father Dad. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure that I'm in here. I see that Steven Parker, he said $4.99, but that's all forgiven there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just go and look for it. Uh, in the meantime, I'm paying attention to the Discord to make sure everything is going okay uh, over there for all the people that are members and stuff like that for the channel. You know, that's the access thing, and I will repeat it. And perhaps I will show you guys uh, what I'm going to do is... You know, if you want to become a member, I'll just show you what you need to do because, um, hey, that helps a whole lot. Uh, that helps carry the channel more than anything. 
Uh, I don't want to get into the spill about YouTube not paying this, that, and the third, and <laughs> all that, or, or saying that stuff is demonetized, but usually these shows do get demonetized, but I'm, I'm, I'm not tripping about that uh, at this very moment, at least. Uh, but if you are on the desktop or laptop computer, uh, you cannot do it on a mobile phone. Uh, you can join and become a member. And once you become a member, make sure that you click on the membership right over here. And it gives you all the information as far as joining Discord and stuff like that. Uh, I don't po post as much as I should as far as member stuff. But hey, that will change because <laughs> I want to be unhinged. But the unhingedness is for the members. You feel me? So anyways, um, you hit this join button. If you hit the join button here, you can see all the, the different uh, plans there. All of them support this channel greatly and I always appreciate that. Uh, you can always click on this little hamburger menu up here uh, and you know, you can do gift settings. You can also gift subs, allow that. Uh, and let's see, uh, you can receive a block. I don't know why that keeps on resetting, boom. But yeah, but you can give subs to people if you want to. Uh, big shout out to Tatro, my dog. Uh, he did that a while ago for people and I like that for him. So I really do appreciate him. Uh, I got to pull up on him a couple of more times because I haven't. Anyways, that's, that's gonna stop all the extra talking we're doing over here. Cause y'all not here for the extra talking. Oh, we're gonna go edit uh, Steve right here. Boom, let's go to Steve Parker. Uh, Steve Parker has a SoundCloud link, that's fine. And uh, let's go ahead and hear what he got on deck here. So, Steve Parker, Parker is, on, is deck. on deck. What you got? What you got? That was Steven Parker on the track. What y'all think about that about chat? That. Chat. 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 chat, chat, gang, what's, gang good? what's good? Big shout out to Posture uh, for becoming a part of the gang again. I think he was just uh, letting people know what his status is. Uh, big salute to Posture up in this bitch. Um, I really do appreciate that for sure. Oh, well, he, he just joined back. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people, they, they abandoned it because they thought I was just not going to do beat reviews and you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, this is a, a this is dedicated to that. But more so on this track right now, I noticed a couple of things in terms of what you was doing with this mix or whatnot. And uh, one of the things I noticed is that there's a lot of aliasing in the track. So I do not know if that's, it could be SoundCloud, you know, SoundCloud be having some weird things with audio quality. So, you know, I'm going to chalk it up to that a little bit, but just make sure that whatever you're doing and uh, it, it has the quality necessary, you know what I'm saying? Because I do not feel the drums like I, I cannot feel the drums in the mix. And what Insight 2 was telling me was that everything was kind of like lodged together, that there's no separation of space. And when you're working with something, you don't necessarily need Insight 2 to tell you that. You can just hear that. And those instances for whenever someone is pressing play, that is, it has a massive impact on if they're gonna play it again, if they're gonna play it again, because people wanna feel it. They wanna feel it in their gut, you feel me? So, you know, other than that though, I like the general idea. Uh, I like what was uh, executed as far as the track goes, you know, based off a of G major, dope. Um, you know, 47, 147, you put the information there. So you put yourself out there and um, not bad, not bad at all, honestly, just to keep it real with you. So yeah, good vibes that I heard right there. 
um, dope stuff there, Steve. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to, I guess, back into the line here. And let me make sure. Let's make sure. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, we're gonna do one more for Solstice Beast. We're just gonna get it out the way. Uh, I do apologize. Did I did I delete it or no? Uh, no, 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 no. It's a uh, was it Pacific Highway? All right, let's go ahead and hit that joint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yawning as I hop about the bed. Looking in the mirror, say, what's up? What's up? Thinking about the heights, I'm about to touch. A little faith in my cup. Sippy, you can never have enough. So I put a little swag on. My confidence I add on. Depend on who in the room. Drop a bag on and tell on you. Niggas smooth. Take them to the moon. Walking on the sun. Elevate. Feel the rhythm of the drums. Create a buzz that's organic, love for the planet, above us, the only one on the planet, that's yeah. a buzz that's organic, love for the sons of Adam, that ain't no business, God damn it. hold your applause, color the sword, buzz from my ancestors, I receive, solstice beats me, heat as I scribble on the pad, make it look easy, believe me, it's exactly as seen on TV, cold flow, no snow, give you the hibbajibis, too late to get scared now, Billy Jean, best on the mic, hands down, that's your really scene. A little genie in a bottle, that's a mean version. Making wishes at the same time, I seem certain. Cause I'm him from the Himalayas. Boy, a real person. <laughs> that was Solstice Beats. Was actually, that was called uh, Pacific Highway. I'm, not, I'm trying not to say specific, cause usually if someone says Pacific, and you know. But, anyways, nice vibes. I like the smooth, modest jazz, realistic drums. Uh, appeal of the track, uh, the lyrical content, it fit the, the the vocal performance fit the track, so that's another plus one for me. Um, and yeah, it's nice, good, easy listening, but you know, uh, the vibes is there. I did notice uh, in Insight that, you know, some of the percussion is suffocated, you know what I'm saying? It could be, I guess it could be a little bit crispier. Uh, with those type of drums, they're not really top heavy as far as like higher frequencies or anything like that. So you can get away with pushing it a little bit more and get a little bit more oomph out of your lower frequency content. Uh, I don't think it will disturb the, the mix in itself. So, you know, that's one of the things that uh, I, I, you know, recommend in that sense. But other than that, though, pretty good vibes. I respect that. Respect you and thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that was... Again, Solstice Beats, though he's going uh, a different alias there. Let's go ahead and get back down to the bottom here. 404 Minutes, let's see. Uh, I do uh, 404 Minutes, I cannot take Spotify links because my Spotify is not working on this computer. I got a little bit of an issue there, so uh, I'm gonna have to skip you on that. Uh, make sure that you do not send any Spotify links, uh, so yeah. Anyways, Dick McGuffin up in this bitch. I can't wait to hear what he got going on here. He said, UK Garage House, let's get it. We're going to hear what Dick McGuffin got on deck. Thank you for becoming a member. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure that you go to that members tab and find all the other information. Hey.
I don't even want to turn that off. That's Dick McGuffin on the track. We're going to run it from the very back and we're going to talk about it. Wow, the way that this came in. I see you, Dick McGuffin's been, Dick McGuffin's been in his Catronada bag there. Uh, it definitely came in massively uh, nice, I like uh, to be honest. And then when it drops right here, bruh, really nice. Uh, Definitely a great sound selection. You staying true to the the eight bit vibes. Uh, it definitely has your stamp in terms of your drum play or whatnot. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke. Would love your opinion, my track. For sure, for sure, for sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that for you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the dono. Greatly appreciated. Uh, the health supports this channel. Um, we'll talk more about what's going on in the in the chat. I, I've seen some comments, but. Yeah, love it, love it. And see, I've been rocking, Dick McGuff has been rocking with us over here for quite a while. And bruh, I, if you ask anybody that's a vet, they, they'll tell you like Dick McGuff has always had it. Uh, there's just been things questionable as far as like the mix, but this mix sounds really good. I really can't complain about the mix it itself. And uh, the structure, drum play, the mix of the drum uh, patterns and, and so forth, bruh, I love it. I love it. You saw my face got a little crinkly in in this for a second there. So, yeah, man, nice. Uh, I'm, this is definitely one of my favorite pockets to be in in terms of music. I just find that house music in general is so much fun, uh, and that's the vibe that I always want to be on. Fun, just fun. You know, I, I love all genres of music, but this right here just gives me such a lift, and always it, it gets me through workout. Ninety percent of my workout is. Uh, when I listen to my, you know, playlists and stuff like that, it's house music. So it definitely, definitely was something I enjoyed there. So thank you so much. I appreciate that, Dick McGuffin. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is spearhead into, uh, what was it, Callum? Hopefully he has to, uh, that person has the same name uh, within my Gmail so that I can find them and uh, we can make good work, quick work of that. Uh, yes, it is. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Do you understand how important branding is? Good, very good. Uh, he has his uh, Instagram right here. I will put the Instagram in the chat. You know, y'all always should make sure that y'all network with each other. I've seen a lot of y'all brothers doing that over the past few years or whatnot. We're on episode 29, but truth be told, y'all know I've been doing it longer than just 29 episodes. Uh, it's just that, uh, yeah, but you know, you know the vibes so boom yeah so we're gonna go ahead and check it out now it's gonna load up and we're gonna hear it so let's get to it hey as my music plays in the background Anticipation. Uh, turn me up a bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This the one. The 051. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Listen. Amanda Zalls of broken flaws and hella demons He gathered all of his mental tools to see his dreams This ain't no voodoo or juju but black magic is evident Circle cast on my residence, banish entities Lifestyle if you're running dry on energy Clenched jaws and speeding thoughts, your breath short Take a step back, collect jaws and learn to breathe Caught up work in the belly, see my G's Effort, staring at the ceiling so long, it made my neck hurt Came a long way from beginnings, was back in Wexford Hindsight made me sit back and get the lessons You know I bring it back every time with something special yeah, yeah, with no rehearsal I dare stay connecting these rhymes, I think it cursed Be wary of these people around, so I'm about to curse you Your retina attaching my spine, I stay observing uh, Oh yeah, see all the serpents Caught up in the illusion of lies, nobody's working Go wrap up your pantomimes and close the curtains Remember then to open your eyes and see the surface When 
things with time, who knows? Feel like I got plenty to go, and life's delicate. We only get who knows. So I, I want to get this name right. Is it Callium States or is it Callium Stats? Uh, I don't I don't know if, if I'm saying it wrong or not, but um, when we start commenting on the track, uh, long introduction. This is clearly like a whole ass record or whatnot. It's about four minutes and 33 seconds. You know, I just try to give uh, people as much time as possible. Usually I cap it off at about a minute mark or so uh, because that gives you enough of an idea of what they're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't require y'all guys to just drop the heat immediately, but you know, that helps. Um, as far as the lyrical content, yes, I did feel the 90s vibe. I heard people saying that, or I read some of that in the chat. So yeah, I agree on in that sense. I see that this person has put in a lot of time into their SoundCloud account, something that I haven't done in forever. You know what I'm saying? I used to be a SoundCloud head back in the day. But yeah, so the mixing itself, I saw that there were some things that uh, help elevate the track, you know, like the introduction. Uh, one thing I will say on the funny end of it, it didn't the guns weren't convincing. Uh, the, I, I will say that, uh, the guns weren't. Uh, I expect the blah, 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 blah type shit. But other than that, uh, when it came into the track uh, itself, the track, pretty busy, a lot of elements, but it fit the vocal performance. So, you know, much respect and credit due to that. And other aspects that I appreciated in this piece happens to be uh, just this, the way that it came off cinematically. So that much has been felt in the regard of this track. So uh, a lot of good in what I've heard in this track. And uh, yeah, uh, I guess the only thing as parting ways I could say that possibly could be worked on would definitely be, you know, just, I would say the mix in general, drums may be a little harder and uh, that will definitely uh, open people up more so, just uh, more so uh, alongside with that intro, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? But not bad, not bad at all. I, I can appreciate it, and I appreciate you supporting this channel and dropping your music is really dope. Uh, as you can see, people ain't in here on no dumb shit, you know, feel me? But uh, anyways, yeah, Calium, dope shit, dope shit. Um, let's, okay, uh, is it okay? I was about to say, I was like, is it not working again? Yeah, you know, Windows be doing its own thing at times, so. Uh, after I get to a member, big shout out to Mel Kinesis dropping through. Thank you so much for all the new members today. Uh, we're going to check out a joint by him and it is called Down Jones Mix. So I, I think I, did we hear Down Jones before? I think so. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping, but we're going to listen to this joint. You feel me? Let's get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bitch, I feel like Batman. Put on extra weight, I feel like BFG the Pac-Man. I ain't worried because I know that it's on muscle. Better pay attention, I can teach you how to hustle. Down, up, first had to get in my cash. Down, up, once it was coming in fast. Down, up, doubled up on my assets. Down, up, moved up in my class, yeah. Up, I was never in a rush, took my time. Up, and to live by Save my dimes up. Now it's time to buy my time back When I save my money Had to guard it like a line back These bitches wanna take my wealth I can't let that happen She said she for my mental health But I know she capping I got her out of here She had to hit the highway Bitch, we not a bird king We gotta do it my way Up, she hop up on my shit She going down Up, I look at all my stocks They going down Up, and it's all good Fucking lazy man, I wish a nigga would cause I made the most of my time, I wake in the morning, I get to the grind Want some to brew my coffee, walk in the office, I never can stop me Open my laptop, I'm coding away, out of my logic in Java I gotta work and I'm done for the day, go home and roll up some guava I'm high as hell, hope you cannot tell Ha ha, haters laughing, but I will not fail I started off in the bottom, already seen the dark You cannot say these you got that was Melikinesis on the track. What y'all think about that chat? Down Jones. She going down. Hey.
Yeah, so there was a lot I liked about that track, but Melikinesis already knows I fuck with his music like that. I fuck with a lot him the long way anyways, you know. That that's the that's the homie for real, for real. And I greatly appreciate when people I've been around for quite a minute, you know what I'm saying, and you know, uh that's that's been felt. Uh thank you so much for uh, your ongoing support. So on to the track in itself. Uh I think the as you are a producer rapper, you know, he's pulling the whole Yeezy thing. Uh, you do it very excellently. Clearly, uh, you need to keep on doing what you do. Uh, and uh, some of the instances of the track, uh, as far as the mix goes, it, it sounded pretty decent. I listened to it in mono. Uh, I checked the balance, and everything was spot on in, in a sense there. Uh, the butter spot, what's going on? Uh, Mick Majors, what's good? The Rainmaker, I see you, I see you. Uh, Runs F S F, what's good, what's good, what's good? Uh, big shout out to my new members over here uh, for of the day. I've got two new members on the channel, and I appreciate it. Hopefully, everything will go well. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure that everything is fine over here. I know I got 43. Ah, damn. Whoopsies. But uh, yeah, really dope stuff there. Really dope stuff. I'm making sure. So what's this about? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think it's, the, oh, I think those are friend requests. I got a lot of friend requests uh, on uh, Discord. I gotta go ahead and filter that out. Uh, let's get back into there so that everything is good. Um, but yeah, big shout out to y'all. Um, yeah, good stuff. We're gonna keep this thing moving and grooving as we always do. Uh, I'll make sure that I check uh, the Streamlabs so I, don't, I ain't missing nobody or anything like that. Uh, do that. Uh, let's go ahead and hit a another uh, housekeeping part of this show. Um, um, if y'all looking for sounds and you're producers or whatnot, uh, we have a website called 16levels.com. It is loosely based after the 16 levels button on the NPC. So that's basically the branding. So what you could expect is a lot of sample packs. There's courses for all the modern day NPCs and all of that. Uh, the links are in the description box as well as all the information for this show. And yeah, I've teamed up with a lot of community members. Big shout out and thank you so much to Nick being a member again, as you can see, certified. And yeah, so make sure that y'all check that out. If you, you know, there's all the marquee shit, you know, that I want people to know about is over here in featured products. Uh, you can always hit the shop all and see what we got, you know, see what's new. And then you can always sign up for the mailing list, which is not uh, one of those mailing lists where I spam you every single day talking about something that y'all ain't, you know, worried about, uh, caring about. Uh, I probably will add some some more stuff if you sign up for the mailing list, by the way. Uh, you will be greeted with uh, something that is really dope. Uh, it's a MPC core progressions, but it's made by uh, none other than Musician Paradise. Uh, 90s R&B, I believe it's 90s Piano House, but it's only like 10 uh, MIDI files. Uh, it's, it's stuff for the MPC, it's stuff for Scalar 2, it's stuff for Ripcord, it's stuff for Cthulhu. So if you don't have an MPC, don't worry about it. If you're gonna get any of these uh, three things right here, uh, it will be added and you'll be able to you know, play with it any way that you want. Mess, mess with it any way that you want. You don't, you don't wanna miss out on these progressions. I use these all the time. Uh, I'm a big, big, big fan of all the people that are a part of 16 Levels, so you can always catch my live streams while I'm cooking up, and you'll, you'll find that I'm not one of those people that just put products out just to have product out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I am big on that. Uh, big shout out to KLC, KLC in, the in the building, my legendary brother there. Big shout out to, yeah, you, shout my out to you, my guy. Uh, I, I always, always appreciated your, your music, Beast by the Pound, all that. All that. Yeah, bro. Uh, big shout out to you, my brother. Uh, always good to see s some of the c celebrity homies come through. Uh, make sure y'all check them out. Hopefully, he'll put a he'll goddamn get on the YouTube wagon, man. Stop playing games. Not easy to do, as I've been. I'm almost on my 18th year. March will mark that. Uh, big shout out to you, though. Um, anyways, we're gonna get back to the music here, and uh, let's see what uh, Casper got on deck because we said we was gonna check out Casper. Uh, let's go ahead and get it. You feel me? Hey. Uh oh.
Miles, Casper on the track. What y'all think about that, chat? It sounds like what, it, this is a particular genre of, of music that I always found uh, to be very interesting. It's extremely popular with the house scene where they will re-edit a song. Uh, mind you, it, you know, it's always existed in hip hop where you'll take something and you'll just loop it in a manner that fits you or will be able to fit an artist or whatnot. You know, RZA was king at that. Same thing with The Alchemist. You know, a lot of people always point at Griselda when it talks about drumless stuff. But, you know, this has always existed in hip hop and it's also extremely popular within the house circuit. And, you know, respectfully so. Uh, it's going to get crazier once, uh, uh, especially for me, because there's so many things that I want to edit and having stem separation inside of the MPC will make it that much more fun to do such things like that. So uh, I look forward to that. Uh, so the sample that you edited, was I, I like it. It was a smooth groove, uh, but yeah, I, I can respect it a lot, you know what I'm saying, for what it is. So. Uh, much love and respect to what you are doing in terms of your music. So uh, that is greatly appreciated that you take something that's already familiar and then, you know, edit it in a manner to where it fits to your criteria. Uh, you know, big shout out to you. Um, yeah, so, damn, I had something on the top of my, this is why I hate about uh, being old. So I see that's a Spotify link. I can't do nothing with that, Rashawn. So I apologize, but you got to pew, move out that way. Uh, we got someone that's made a track on the MPC one. Uh, so we're gonna check it. There's DJ Random Spoons. What an interesting name. Um, there, there, there's a whole bunch, bro. When it comes down to this music shit, that's gonna change, or, or not so much change, but kind of evolve in a sense. I think sampling is, is reaching its apex. Uh, we'll, we'll see what's coming up next. I think between Ripex, uh, Serato Sample, and FL Studio, uh, doing those things in terms of sampling and stem separation and stuff like that. I just kind of like leveled up and, and double tripled my interest in terms of uh, sampling or whatnot. If you're a sampling based producer, let me know in the chat. I definitely want to hear from you guys. Let's stay big active over here. You feel me? Oh, my pleasure, Casper. It's, it's always a pleasure to, to do this thing. You know what I'm saying? I do this for a living. I do it because I love music. You feel me? Uh, the love comes first. Yeah, uh, Rip, Rip X is phenomenal because it's not just about stem separation. It's about actually taking pieces. And I think that's the new, the new next level is being able to take existing samples and change up the progression, change up the notes, change up how the drums appeal and all that stuff. I played with Rip X a lot. Uh, they have been on my top as far as like doing another video and I'm just like, uh, like, dude, I, <laughs> there's only so much I can take right now. You feel me? But, uh, I'm going to get back on it. March is coming up and all that stuff. We got some dope shit planned. You know, I got some stuff uh, on the docu that will happen, but let's go ahead and get to Issa on, uh, Hawkins. Let's get it. Ooh. 
so I think about that. Sure. Well, I, as far as the drum selection goes, that's one of my favorite drum machines, the Uberheim DMX. And that's where those drums come from, uh, essentially. Uh, very smooth groove. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No pun intended. But yeah, I, I like everything from the chord progression down to the drums. Uh, the mix sounded very nice and crisp. You know, that's one of the biggest things that I enjoy about uh, uh, making beats on, you know, the MPC. It's, it's so little, it's so less guessing. I know a lot of people, they uh, try to adjust to the workflow and the modern day MPC's workflow are, you know, I, I would admit sim it's semi-simple, semi-convoluted, but once you grasp your fingers and start working on it, man, you're just gonna love it for a hot minute. For real. Uh, I saw a comment talking about, you know, uh, a part, well, I believe it is Runs FS, SF, that said uh, he doesn't know uh, what to think about stem separation for what it is. Uh, I know what to think about it. I think it's phenomenal. I mean, my anticipation for, I don't want to talk about this beat. This beat was dope. My overall thoughts as far as like if it hits standalone and no i don't have this like the alpha for the standalone yet you know what i'm saying we just know it's coming in march uh, i believe they're gonna probably drop it towards the end there's a lot coming out in march anyways you you guys are in for one y'all th thought that well nam was pretty dry i didn't really speak too heavy on nam but nam was pretty dry and it's just because the nature of the other beast now uh was with influencers and all this other stuff man like you get way more out of an influencer or influencers than you do uh just dropping something at them or announcing at them or announcing on the channel but i think uh the biggest thing uh that i will enjoy about stem separation and standalone is just having access and being able to do what i want to do you know what i'm saying uh, and i think everybody will totally enjoy it the way that they implemented it was way better than what i thought it would be uh, i thought people made i think they listened to you know some of the people that was like oh well it doesn't have to be real time and all this other stuff you know they was just you know weighing in on it and yeah the stem separation in the npc is just going to be the biggest game changer ever and then the fact that they're letting it fly for like ten dollars bro like i i don't know why they did it for that low i guess just to <laughs> well there's a whole bunch business wise i could speak on that why that was a great move uh some 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 hit the keys i mean yeah hit the keys is up in this bitch i see you my dad my guy um just started using stem separation in serato sample uh yeah um once you once you play with a serato sample you're gonna see why they raised the price on that you know what i'm saying and clearly i'm not gonna i'm going to be 100% unbiased and say this. I think I, I checked out Anjovi, maybe. Um, but when it comes down to it, uh, you know, working on a computer is superior. I always will say that. But, you know, the NPC um, definitely has things that will make you change the way you create music just because of the limitations. And I mean, everybody complains about the two to four gigs, but. Uh, when you think about all the things that it's capable of doing with the two to four gigs, uh, you, you kind of not care about it anymore. And, and then you also understand that, man, when you do music on here, you, you don't you don't have a chance to overdo it because that's not going to work. So when you go back into your DAW, you're going to start looking at all these plugins that you never use and be like, bruh, why in the hell am I, why did I spend all this money? You know what I'm saying? Uh, because on average for me, I spend maybe, and last year was probably the least I spent, but $1,100 on software that you probably will not use is absolutely insane. Um, but just spending maybe $900, $700, I guess, for a, a normal MPC or whatever, uh, MPC One Plus or whatnot, uh, all the way up to maybe $2,500 for the SE uh well, it's pretty much what you're going to invest in and at best maybe another additional four or five hundred dollars on this mpc expansions you know what i'm saying you're going to end up saving a lot and i've actually saved a lot more by going over to hardware than i have into software because it's always going to be that new hot thing you know what i'm saying and that's going to happen more so in the software daw world than anything else you know what i'm saying so Anyways, and Jovi, let's get it.
And see, I could totally understand it. It's starting off pretty damn good. But I could totally understand buying uh, Universal Audio plugins, but even then, I bought like maybe two or three. And I had the, the subscription when it was like a dollar for like the first three months. But other than that, dude, I, I, I bought like a vocal chain. I bought Antares Autotune, which is, those are essential things when you're recording modern day artists. And that's about it. That's about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, everything else is MPC or Machine Plus. M you know, when before I got tired of the crashing and, st and others, un uh, other stability issues. But yeah. On piggies on your tippy toes in a world amidst the walls, trick of fingers itch to tell below. Would never let you go, make you invincible, even if you never spoiled. Helped you into this world as a bitter soul, but you, my sweetheart, to heat you up, my hands would sift the coals. I'd never let you go. If another jester I owed, I'd jester for coal. Burn the midnight's oil, study the creatures beneath the bed, reach in the abyss. Snarls of teeth that drip. Be the water that sees me gorged on or turned to stone. See eye to eye with gorgons and perfect stone. It be my ashes in the urn at home For it's this world that I honed Of merciless bones And to this design I stare at the dark Uh Can y'all hear me? What the fuck? Uh oh Hopefully the, the internet didn't go out Damn Uh let's see here It doesn't look like everything is gone I just had to refresh Okay, cool, cool, cool. As long as y'all can hear me. Uh, let's run that back. Yeah, keep it at bay. Keep it at bay. Keep it at bay. Counting piggies on your tippy toes in a world amidst the walls. Trigger fingers itch to tell below. Would never let you go. Make you invincible even if you never spoiled. Helped you into this world as a bit of soul But you my sweetheart to hit you up My hands would sift the coals I'd never let you go If another jester I owed I'd jester for coal Burn the midnight's oil Study the creatures beneath the bed Reach in the abyss Snarls of teeth that drip Be the water that sees me gorged on Or turned to stone See eye to eye with gorgons and perfect stones it be my ashes in the urn at home For it's this world that I honed Of merciless bones And to this design I stare at the dark Looking for the stairs that you can climb To the clear above No matter what I do or say Try not to lose the way I promise for you Baby, I love you Just trying to keep you strong Eyes open for the good day The good day Keep the dark in me Thoughts away That was in Joby at, at Bay, produced by G Mike. What y'all think about that? Ah, I thought a nice, modest track. Someone said it reminds them of dilated people, and you know, I, I think I can, I can get with that comparison. To be honest, yeah, really dope uh, in that sense. Uh, nice smooth. It, it fit the vibe that they was going for. Like they was well executed. As you know, I listened to it a little bit more in the background or whatnot. And yeah, that is much appreciated. Solid mix. Uh, I didn't see anything bad in Insight Two that could be you know tweaked or anything like that. You know that you know Insight Two is a cheat code. That's one of the essential plugins. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get back to it because I see a lot of uh, like talk about uh, buying stuff and all that. You know, and, and granted. Uh, but yeah, so everything was well executed. Vocals sound crispy. It sounded good in mono. Uh, I didn't see any like sound field uh, polarity issues. So yeah, and all that checked. Everything checked, checked, checked. Now what I was, I saw Wagga talking about he bought the two hundred fifty dollar UA package or whatnot. Not bad. Um, when, when people. See, the thing I always thought about you with Universal Audio, in my opinion, is I always thought it was kind of like one of those overhyped things or whatnot. And, you know, I, I openly admit sometimes I, I just don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You feel me? But 
you know, you, one of the things that I always do is just try to stay as open-minded as humanly possible when it comes to tools, musical tools. And I believe that like me buying the Apollo Solo was probably the, one of the best things that I could have possibly done. You guys see me use that shit in the living room all the freaking time. And if I didn't have a Windows computer uh, in here, and mind you, if the Acheria Audio Fuse Studio was bad, I wouldn't use it at all. The Acheria Audio Fuse Studio is an amazing uh, audio interface. I remember giving away uh, the the mini fuse uh, a few months ago for like Black Friday when I was doing the holiday uh, giveaways and stuff like that. And mind you, I did not want to give it away because it was a more improved version of the Audio Fuse Studio, but with less I/O. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, but I do think essentially, when if you are an Apple-based com computer producer or whatnot, and mind you, you, there's not much you could do in in the in that world i do recommend that you get something from universal audio just to be honest i still don't know if they have improved their windows support or whatever i'm pretty sure given their time and how much they have invested in the past couple of years that they have did, done some better improvements but the apollo twin I, I really wish i had the apollo twin x it would give you a little bit more io it gives you a, uh, it's not that the apollo solo doesn't have a phenomenal workflow and it has a small footprint too making it easy for you to carry mobile wise and mind you i have a macbook air m1 and that macbook air m1 can do a whole lot y'all see what i do in the living room um actually it's one of my favorite setups i just don't like sitting down in that chair my back be hurting like a motherfucker while i bent over like a bitch. but uh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That full series is re really good as far as their budget. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people were. Uh, I see a lot of the jargon and people crying on uh, social media, like, "Oh, y'all hating on the Scarlet 2i2. Two two. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, you guys are gear elitists and stuff like that." And that has that argument has some merit, but also the other argument with buying a more expensive gear uh, also has its merit too, where you need to buy gear that will pretty much allow you to step your game up you know what i'm saying scarlet 2i2 is very good for starting up um when you're essentially trying to get to creating music you, you don't need the most expensive things you don't and i saw people was talking about uh the mpc 3000 and you know why people stuck with it back then yeah granted yeah that's that's basically where i'm at now it's just that i'm not using the 3000 my 3000 is in the bike uh, y'all can see it right here. It's like right there. And then my 2000 XL is right there. Um, those are just great pieces. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, if you want to collect gears, collect gear. But, you know, that, uh... oh, it so said you got your key 37. You like it. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, I like that for you. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I love my 37. Uh, I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with it. Is allowing me to uh, progress as a musician and not just like make beats uh, there is a little bit of challenge because I'm not as great at playing the keys as I should be at my age but you know that, that all comes with that uh, big shout out to the 75 people that are watching big shout out to the 58 likes greatly appreciate it uh, big shout out to the three new members or the returning members and the new member <laughs> But a uh, big shout out to y'all. I really do appreciate the support. Uh, again, if you want to send music, uh, send music to beatreviewstream at gmail.com. It's also in the pinned comment. I do recommend that you check out the description just in case you're like one of the people that want to scream. Hey, listen to my beats. Listen, listen to, to my to beats. My beats. <laughs> it's been good in here. So let me not channel that type of energy on, on a Sunday. You feel me? Uh, let's go ahead and continue with the show. Uh, I think I'm talking a little bit too much anyway, so... Boom. All right, so we got uh, Sam up in this business, and he said MPC Live 2 beat made with Orc and Fabric XL. Uh, Fabric XL is one of my favorite plugins along with the strings, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hope, we'll, we'll see what the future holds. Oh, Flex Beat? Yeah, and then Flex Beat's definitely one of my favorites too. Uh, there is, there is, I already know what the future holds. All right, spoiler alert, it's gonna be crazy. But let's go ahead and get it, let's get it. Let's go. If it'll play. Oh, uh, it says video unavailable. Playback on the website has been disabled to the video or watch on YouTube. So let's go ahead and watch it on YouTube. All right. 
Let's see if that works. Yeah, that works. Cool. Uh, I saw some. Oh, big shout out to uh, producer noise. I I meant to give you a shout out last time. flexing nice nice stuff there nice stuff I, I like what you got going on over there so um yeah so when I checked everything out on insight you know I think the only problematic side and what people were uh, talking about in the chat was like the base but to the MPC depending on when you what this is my experience as far as like sound designing on the MPC I mean, not sound design on the MPC, but sound designing on the computer and then bringing your files to the MPC, which is basically a computer anyways. So uh, in a sense that one, uh, it's definitely going to hit a little bit harder than um, what it normally appeared as. Uh, granted, you know, we're, we're talking about full level, depending on how you make the beat or whatnot. If you're using pass and use full level, you're definitely gonna get drums that hit uh, ridiculously hard. Uh, and that's just by the very nature uh, of the MPC in general. Uh, but everything else sounded pretty balanced. Uh, when I looked at the inside, I saw that the drums were cutting, uh, the melodics, and the melodics weren't overpowering. Uh, you did a lot of work when it came to the drums that I had to acknowledge a little bit, for sure. Uh, you had drum rolls in there. You know, it's been a minute since I've heard those. Um, and, and those aspects were extremely strong in that track. It seems like you're getting a good hold on your MPC. That's what I love to hear or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I love to see when someone is starting to kind of get comfortable with a groove box. And mind you, the MPC is about as easy as a groove box that you're gonna get comfortable with. I'm gonna tell you that from my experience of all the groove boxes on the market. And there's not like there ain't any good good ones on the market outside of like the Akai brand stuff. It's just that they do stuff extremely well. Uh, I see you uh, add the uh, add the hero. Thank you so much for the dono. Um, I'm gonna get to you in a sec. Uh, the NPC has a very full level issue where you have to tame it a lot. Well, no, you just turn it off if you don't want to use full level. Uh, and that's kind of the thing that makes the MPC Key 37 and Key 61 great. Um, what I used to do was I used to hit the pass extremely hard when I wanted to do certain kinds of drums. And what it does is it accents what your drums are doing, clearly. I mean, that's the purpose of having uh, a 1 to 126, I believe, what, 127 in terms of MIDI notes. It's because you're just sending MIDI to your groove box and, you know, you just can tame it, you can mix it down, you can always change the velocity and stuff like that. Uh, and and that can be said about uh, DAWs, you know, just DAWs have a different approach uh, than, you know, if you're using a, a groove box. Even though like Ableton is trying to, uh, Ableton Live's appeal is with the push two or three is, or the push in general is to kind of keep it in the groove box theory. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke. 
But uh, yeah, Send anyways. Send track at AdHealth02. Appreciate you, Avenue. Oh, I appreciate you too. Oh, that's for sure. That is for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and get to that joint. We don't need to uh, talk further. But oh, I mean, I know people always like my opinion on stuff. Uh, we'll get to TD, uh, TNDR in a sec. I'm just going to go ahead and take care of business. Tum uh, Tumba Sports, we're going to get to you uh, after this too. So we'll get to that. I know. Yeah, this group box thing, it, it's like old but new. Everything is kind of new. Uh, new and old at the same time. Um, there's a philosophy that you can have when it comes to creating music. And that is like... It. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke! Always respected and enjoyed your channel. Well, I always appreciate you uh, pulling up. That's for sure. Thank you so much for the $20 donation. Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and get to uh, add the hero real quick. Let's get it. Let's get these vibes up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good, good point there, Wagon. Uh, before I play this joint, I need to turn the volume up. Yeah, there's so much, there's so much to talk about. Uh, trust me, what I'll do is I'm going to get my black ass up on Monday and cut a video. Hopefully it'll be out before 3, 3 p.m. Because that's like my peak hour, at least for me, uh, or 4, maybe 5 at the latest. We're going to do some shit. We're going to do some shit. I got work to do for sure. All right, let's get to this joint. That was Add the, Add the Hero. What y'all think about that, think chat? About that chat, 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 chat? So, I understand what the, the he says Vintage Rough Mix, funny, uh, but um, I understand what the idea is because Add the Hero is no stranger over here. Add the Hero does like a lot of uh, retro game type stuff. And as someone that is indulging into a lot of retro gaming, like I bought a PS5 and I'm playing games like the Messenger uh, by that's that's published by uh, Devolver Digital and, and you know these type of companies that have this kind of oppressive thing going on when it comes to their music uh, that does a lot of retro games and stuff like that. You know, there's plenty of other games I can name. I play like Bro Force. You know, I'm no, I'm no light gamer. Uh, thank you for the dodo. Hello, new R and B link from Kylo twelve twenty seven. Thank you so much for the dono. I'm gonna get to you in a sec. Um, so. You know, when it comes down to it, they, there's a lot of weird ideas. Like, I've been listening to, well, well a very impressive soundtrack. Uh, and we're going to talk about Devolver Digital, because one of the things they do, they do a lot of wild stuff with this retro kind of gaming shit. They have their vibes in that, and that's how they made a name for themselves. It's like Hotline Miami, Hotline Miami, Hotline Miami 2. You can play it on uh, any game console you want. You know, dope on Steam. Uh, I just have it on the PS4, PS5. I've been playing it on there for a while. Fun games. Uh, Enter the Gungeon, Exit the Gungeon. Exit the Gungeon is phenomenal. And I was just sitting there indulging into that world. And then when you look at how retro game music is, it's always a little weird. Uh, some things, I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional, probably some of the offbeat stuff uh, in the track. Maybe that was intentional, perhaps. You know, uh, I, I look at it as it, it's intentional if you upload it to the internet. You feel me? And share it with everybody else. You know what I mean? Um, so it was? Really? 
what what plugin did you use? I, I want to know. Uh, I'm interested to know. But yeah, so you know the and and I wonder how how did you go about degrading? Did you did you use uh, lo-fi air or low air or whatever it's called, or did you use like uh, what 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 is the other one called? Flavor or Flavor Pro? You know what I'm saying? So you know the, that in, in that pretails that kind of vibes that you go to. Like I listen to a lot of uh, I play a lot of games to get motivated to you know step on over here and, and make music. You know what I mean? Because my first uh, ambition and my inspirations come from playing video games. Clearly, that's why I trap Tendo is a thing. Anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go over here, make sure that I get people. So we have Add the Hero that did something. And if y'all guys are wondering why I keep on going over here, it's because if you check the link in the description box, people are skipping online so they can get their critiques in. It's been a minute, so people are loving on me and I appreciate everybody loving on me. So, you know, I'm just trying to take care of everybody as much as I can uh, before, you know, I, I do uh, other stuff. Uh, Tumba Sports, uh, make sure uh, well, hold on. Before I even go over here, I'm just going to make sure I get it. It's a good search. Tuba Sports. Yeah, so uh, Tuba Sports, make sure that you uh, let me know in the chat, like, what is the name of the song? What's the name of the song and the track or whatnot? Because uh, I did not know. Oh, so you added... Uh, okay, so you've been playing around with all the effects there at the Hero. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I played with a lot of them. Um, I haven't played with every last one of them. There's some that's, they were added because of the foreseen future, you know what I mean? And Decimator, okay, okay. Uh, so, you know, you, we'll, we'll see as, as videos will be made by me and everybody else, uh, we're, we're gonna get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna see if to, I'm jousting, donating. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I'm just making sure, you know, because sometimes, you know, people, uh, you know, donate, and then I, I think it's like a, a, you know, donation like that, and then, you know, and they be upset, and I don't want people to get upset, you know what I mean? So, anyways. Uh, yeah, I don't, don't want to be known as the shyster. But, yeah, people are donating, and that's why if you see yourself, like, ahead of someone and all that, yeah. I really do appreciate you supporting. Uh, any support matters, you feel me? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, so this is, I believe it's Kilo, or it might be Kylo Ren. Let's go ahead and get it, though. Damn, it just went straight to YouTube, huh? Okay, that's fine. Uh-oh. This is the story of the first time I told you that I loved you.
Damn. Uh, yo. Yo, yo, yo. That's a really dope joint. That was, I believe, Your Darkness. But uh, this is uh, You Love Me Too. Wow. Very interesting track. Is that's a very interesting cover. You feel me? Um, that was uh, Kilo Ren on that. Goddamn, dog. Like, you had to come through like that. Shit. <laughs> Goddamn. That, that's that get that, that's that get them draws type music right there, bro. You you know what I'm saying? And everybody called it out in the chat. I think it's a general consensus that it, it has that '90s good composition vibes. There was like multiple bridges in there. Just a lot of variety that that really made that time period phenomenal. You know, uh, as someone that's an '80s baby, I'm gonna be biased and always say that the '90s will always be something to remember. Um, it's something that I wish would, you know, kind of make its wave back into music. But nonetheless, though, uh, love the vocal performance. You know what I'm saying? I, I was a little bit on, in, uh, on edge with some of the vocals. I guess maybe being a '90s brat. You know what I mean? But uh, as far as that production, that production was crisp, pristine. Uh, everything checked out in uh, Insight 2 as far as the plug-in itself. There's nothing unidentifiable. I've listened to it in mono just to, you know, see if I can nitpick a little bit. Because something that's a great record like this always deserves that extra attention from that one person that could be pretentious like me that could point out some shit. And I'm going to let that run back again because I like that record. Um, listen, you get a totally different record as it progressed, and that's what made the 90s so great. Like, you, you're going to listen to the music because uh, the retention was higher. A lot of music now is shorter because the retention is lower because the production isn't as heartfelt. And granted, I'm a part of this generation as much as everybody else, though I would be considered, quote unquote, a boomer. Um, Dude, it's just kind of kind of obvious because younger people complain about it too. So it's not just me, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna kaisa not the shit and just be like, uh, oh, you know, you know what I mean? But uh, other than that though, I, there's a lot to appreciate about this record, and that's what you need to do. And and just a off shot of a critique of the cover boy, she got that she got that ass to where you gonna be like, what you doing in front of that window, girl? Get away from that window, girl! Get in this bed. But uh yeah, she <laughs> goddamn. That and that, that ain't no BBL either. That's that's that na nice natural round brown. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm talking about somebody girlfriend or wife, daughter. But anyways, but yeah, really good record, honestly. <laughs> really good record, man. Uh, I, I I had to give you a, your props and credit to uh, as due, bro. You really got down on that shit. Respect, respect. Um, yeah, that's, that's, you know, I'm gonna have to keep that in in the notes there. Thank you for the hearts. Uh, anyway, so we got. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure. Uh, okay, we get we took care of. Uh, uh, you, I, I, I don't know if it's what is your darkness. What is it? Your darkness? What? Uh, say it again. Get back in the chat and tell me what's good. That yeah, that was that was an apple bottom for real. Shit, I think I appreciate that. I got an apple bottom in the other room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Mine, mine came from the West Coast. <laughs> ah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to this track here. This is by Maurice Giles. I'm, put, I'm putting your damn government out there. I do apologize, but this is Smoke Main. Let's get it. Let's hear what, what he got on deck here. What? You win some, you lose some. You know what I'm saying? He say, win some, you lose some. You start off like that. So this is like a tutorial. If the principal tells you that there are children in his school, Cameron, who are being adversely affected by your music, do you care? I care, but you got to talk to their parents. With <laughs> Mixing that up with Cameron talking to uh, Bill O'Reilly is it's crazy.
If the principal tells you that there are children in his school, Cameron, who are being adversely affected by... That was Smoke Main with his SP404 Mark II funk performance. What y'all think about that? I like it. I like it. It's, again, you know, I'm, I'm biased when it comes to uh, funk music in general. So, you know, I'm going to always like funk, no matter what it is. Uh, but nonetheless, though, I, I like it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you, you deserve some respect for using the SP404 to make a beat. Honestly, the SP404 Mark II is not bad for making beats. It's just that when it comes to putting to, together a track or whatnot, I would appreciate if they made one change and this is one change that that almost every group box does better. Um, when you are using the pre-count, like the pre-count should matter for something. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I want to use the, take the metronome out and just use it as is, but it's kind of hard to kind of live loop it up. Uh, nonetheless though, I just figured, you know, whatever, I'm good enough to kind of just press buttons, you know what I'm saying, to get it to work. But it's the, the workflow in itself takes a little bit of getting used to, it's a little rough, but that's kind of the appeal of the SP404 or the SP series by Roland anyways, is that it's a little rough uh, on the edges, but not so much to where it's just unusable, clearly the sounds and stuff like that too. So, you know, it, it's, it makes it hard for me to part ways with the SP404 Mark II though, I don't use it a lot. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be one of those gear sluts that just continue to keep gear just cause. You know what I'm saying? Especially when there's probably someone out that's thirsty enough or hungry enough to use it just for their music production. Not to mention it's not a bad fucking piece of gear. It, it doubles down as an audio interface that has its own vibe. Uh, you can make beats on the computer and send it to your SB404 immediately. Uh, if they improve the DJ performance aspect of it, meaning that they need to improve how files load, because file loading on that some bitch is a pain to ass, it will be much better, much, much better. It's already good enough for just production in general, uh, in my opinion. They they put their, I, I you know, anyways. But other than that though, good shit, good fucking shit. All right, so we're gonna continue on through. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to all the people that have been tuning in. Uh, we got Keith Powell up next. Oh, damn, no we don't, because he has the Spotify link. Uh, so, moving on. Uh, Yusuf, uh, let's go ahead and check out Yusuf. He says it's a Mad Lib type beat. Big shout out. Oh yeah, and if y'all if y'all want to get on these R&B, like 90s R&B stuff, man, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug the man uh, himself in here. Again, you can go to 16levels.com. You can check out the NPC chord progressions. But these chord progressions work right here. His his series, which is 90s R&B, New Jack Swing, and Piano House, they work on the DAW, not not just the NPC uh, doll. Uh, they work inside. If you have Scalar 2, you have Ripcord. Ripcord is a free chord progression music theory plugin. Uh, Cthulhu, which is very very popular, it works in Cthulhu as well. So, you know, you get it and then it also has uh, MIDI files too. So if you're a lazy drag and drop and re-edit or whatever the case may be, uh, you can get, get powerful 90s chords right in, in front of your hands. I recommend it because, especially for the MPC, because once you put it in standalone MPC, bro, uh, you're, you should, bro, next level shit, next level shit. All right, let's get to the track here. Let's go. Damn, what a dick tease. It started off good, I, I that's one thing I can say. It started off very good, and the drums was pretty good and all that, Yusuf, but uh, damn, that was short. That was shorter than my dick. Pause. Anyway, so Lucent is up next. Let's go ahead and get to it. Yeah, that was short, 21 seconds.
love for you will ever grow this big Wasn't even prepared, didn't know shit Had to get a grip, I was losing it Mind full of foolishness, had to recoup Barely a human in this elusiveness When I jot these bars, man, I reach deep in my heart And so for this, it's almost like a loaded clip The mystery of poetry, had a fist full of fury Still the pain wasn't over it Every bar came close to the soberness Who alone gave wisdom, purity and nobleness I think it's far-fetched, but head pop is controlling this The crowd just like patrolling it, consoling it Had to give back to my peoples, felt like I stolen it From the first day, we instantly hit it off Knew I met my match from the moment we got involved uh, And all those puzzles and mysteries we both solved You can say my heart is empty without you, my love, come on That was, was Lucid. Well, goddamn, God hip hop lovers. Hip-hop this was, was the title of the track. Of the track. What, y'all what y'all think about that, chat? Well, um, I ain't gonna lie to you. Just nice, smooth, simple track or whatnot, but it actually carries, um, it allows the vocals to carry, mind you. Uh, big shout, thank you for the heart. Um, yeah, it, it, it does all the things right. I don't even need to really hear the, the rest of it, but I, I heard enough to just come to a conclusion. It sounds very good. Um, when I checked it, the insight, everything was on point. I checked it in mono, it was on point. Uh, the vocal performance, the right kind of beat for the lyricist, the lyricist spitting, riding the track per usual. And, you know, those are the things that uh, were duly noted in that production piece, to be honest. Uh, I see people talking about uh, No Rizzo used the 404 as well as Timberland, both noted uh, for that gear. Uh, people talking about who, who uses what. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Rizzo was one of... See, the ASR or the Insonic producers were always a weirdos, you feel me? And Rizzo was one of those Insonic EM, Emule producers, you feel me? Like, he used the Emule. I don't even know what the name of that... Uh, Groove box was named, but it was like in purple. You can get it in purple. I believe it's like command something or, or yellow. It's one of the rare, it's one of the most rare Groove boxes, too. You know what I'm saying? He used a lot of that on Kill Bill and, and so forth. You, you know, I would know that. I had the Kill Bill OST, period. Um, but, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he was always one of those weirdos. Just like the Alchemist was a, a ASR weirdo. You know what I'm saying? If you work with any of the ASRs, I got the X Pro, you know, the red groove box. The one that came out, I believe that was supposed to rival the MPC 2000. And as you can see, it didn't work out very well. And as I have uh, checked out, even with the updated, just is a very janky machine. But man, it's one of those machines that have levels of charm that um, most groove boxes of its time and current day doesn't have. Um, you know, chopping samples on the ASR, anything is tedious. Uh, but once you load up the memory, it was more on the cusp of the end game of when com- when computers were uh, able to get up to about uh, 64 megabytes. So you had massive amounts of sampling time. When you have massive amounts of sampling time, combine that with like the ASR's uh, pristine. Um, uh, ADDAs and the effects, bruh, you, you got something to not fuck with. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Kai is a weirdo, but you know, he he's more of a, he was a 2000, 2000 XL head more so than in the ASR. He used it. You know, everybody used, you know, Timbo used that. Everybody uses those tools, uh, and but it's always, but if you, you using that damn ASR or anything, bro, I'm telling you, I kid you not. I kid you the fuck not. Uh, you are going to work. Just check my stream. Check my stream of how hard I had to work just to get a simple groove going. Uh, but big shout out to all the people that were ASR heads that came to my stream to see me struggle with it because damn. Um, but uh, I can legit play you a beat uh, that I chopped on there. And the end result was pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. I, I tell you that. All right, so we got Bashan Beats on deck here. He gave me a Dropbox link. I can work with that. Uh, said the key uh, 37 is your modern day ASR. Well, yeah, you can work it like that, that for sure. Um, but the ASR, uh, what made the ASR the ASR was definitely the, the jankiness 
uh, some of the things that you could do when you're sampling stuff into it. Uh, that they had it had its own way of mangling samples that uh, the NPC can do, but not exactly like it. Um, and that was the biggest thing about the charm. Of course, you know, it's a lot. It, it's just it's it's a lot good. It's there's a lot good, but there's a whole lot more bad about it. You know what I'm saying? It's a piece. I, I think, you know, if you can come up on an ASR X Pro or ASR 10, I think the real price should be like 500 bucks. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, people are going to sell shit like that for a stupid amounts of price. You know what I'm saying? Say not sound wise. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, you got to think about it. Insonic, uh, Emule, they end up becoming Creative Labs, which was the first kind of audio interface that you could buy for your computer. You know what I'm saying? You had a sound blaster. And they did pretty pretty well with the Sound Blaster series. It, you know, it didn't manifest into anything else greater because, you know, companies was really coming. With, you had Universal Audio coming out with their shit that had its own processor. And those things were fancy, smancy, more fancy. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, it was very frustrating uh, at the hero. I, I, w I wanted to throw that shit across the room. Sean, trying to relive the 24th and 2010s with this track. What y'all think about this chat? Not bad, not bad at all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think dynamically it was pretty good. You know, when I turned it down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I looked at all the things. The drums was hitting hard like they're supposed to. Uh, everything in the mix, you know, it may be a little bit too loud, but that's kind of the very nature of this particular genre is to have things extremely loud and extremely push that shit. So to Pete, Beats, man, thank you so much for the dono. I really do appreciate it. We'll get to you in a little bit. Um, yeah, so uh, not much I can say. It, it just had everything nice and balanced as far as the sound selection, good. Drum selection, very good. Uh, the pattern itself, great. You know, there's different instances and breaks and stuff like that in the track that are keeping you interested or keeping the viewer or listener interested in what the track would be. And everything that I like, it's cool. He said, thanks, uh, went, from, uh, went for an EDM vibe with this one. I'm a producer from California. Word, I, I totally understand. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke. Enjoy the content, bro salute. I sent a track for review. Keep grinding biceps, 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 clenched fist, clenched fist, clenched fist, clenched fist. <laughs> clenched fist, clenched fist. But yeah, no doubt. I mean, I, I see you in that pocket, man. You did a very good job of uh, accentuating that. You feel me? All right. So what I'll do is I'll play the ASR 10 beat I had. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to just type in ASR right here. Uh, for those who don't know, if you go to someone's YouTube channel, uh, no matter if it's on mobile or on desktop, you can always search their channel for tracks or whatnot. I think this track was pretty bad. Good, bad. Oh, damn, I'm smoking weed on the damn stream. That could tell you right there. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Four months ago. Yeah, this is the one in the room. Um, all right. Yeah, and I got timestamps, I believe, so it ain't going to be very painful. So we're going to go ahead and visit that. But yeah, I mean, the SR X Pro was just painful, dude. Like, uh, and what's funny is 
when I was working on the track, uh, <clears throat> I had worked on a track earlier, uh, just to give a little bit of a backstory, and we're going to get back to it. I, I promise you, I ain't going to hold y'all up too long. <clears throat> and then I'm going to get to the dono first, you know what I mean? I, I really do appreciate the support. So the biggest thing about it is like when I got the ASR X Pro, <clears throat> I made a beat on it and I saw and I had no issues with it. And I don't know, as soon as I went live, that's when everything just started falling apart because people were telling me, oh man, there's so many things. And one of the biggest issues is the encoders, like the encoders uh, themselves were like flickering and doing all kinds of weird stuff. And I was sitting there thinking like, maybe, maybe they, this asshole on reverb or not on reverb, but this asshole who sold it to me, which I only paid like a hundred and something dollars for it, which I think that's, you know, fair for, for all the things that you're going to have to work around. Uh, it was doing all kinds of crazy stuff and it's uh, kind of a known issue with the asr x pro even with their last update that they pushed out um as a last resort to get people to buy this over the mpc 2000 2000 xl it was just not up to to par with a lot of the things there and yamaha has the same issue too let's see here uh what i'm gonna do is pull up the chapter Yeah, that sample. I love that sample. Uh, big shout out to Sonic Gems for that. Uh, let's see, sequencer, glorious effects. Da -da -da -da, sick in it. Um, yeah, I had to restart this beat a couple of times. Oh yeah, I gotta go into the settings. All right, come on. Uh, this is me recording stuff into. Uh, I always have my group boxes synced to a DAW. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way to kind of work with older group boxes that... You know how expensive those cars are? They are very expensive. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, get to the... Oh yeah, I changed it too. As you can hear, the drums, the drums really do come out. That's the character of the ASR X Pro, you know, and that's just a character of group buses in general. And I tried to use the MPC uh, 3000 and it, for some reason it didn't work on the stream. I don't know what was up with that. Uh, then I ended up uh, making a beat on the MPC 2000 XL and it was like ass, I believe, if, if I can play it. Yeah, and I still haven't replaced the pads too. Was it two hours? I don't know if I even care to even go look, but I think the first track was, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's me working with the ASRX again. I, I don't even think I put time steps in this stream. It was just that much of a struggle. I was like, fuck it. But yeah. I, I, can't, I can't get jiggy with 15 seconds of sampling. Oh yeah, that's when I had only 15 seconds of sampling time in there. And this is like an example of like the effects. Yes. So if you essentially, if you are to get an ASR X Pro, ASR 10, whatever, bruh, there's things that the ASR does to drums that, that like the MPC could never. Just saying, bruh, when it comes to crunching stuff, running through guitar effects inside of it, running uh, some of the, I forgot what the special feature is in it. But it can mangle drums or sounds in a manner like you're going to be like, whoa, like if some if someone if you're buying drums from someone on the Internet or whatever, bruh, there is just no freaking way humanly possible. Like they, they could if they don't have, if they ain't a groove box monster and they don't have an ASR, I don't want none of that shit. Um, you know, I only buy my drums from MPC uh, from Akai Pro anyways when I go and get some stuff. You know what I mean? So, you know, my the expansions are made by some of the best in the game. And they know. You know what I'm saying? They know. Uh, I ain't going to fuck with none of these young cats. These young cats, all they do is just go to Reddit and fucking download someone else's shit. And then see if they can pass it off on Splice. And, uh, yeah, I still got that uh, vibe. I still got the same opinion I had about Splice from years ago. But anyways, yeah, so let's go ahead into Soldier P. Uh, let's see, Soldier P, if you are in the chat, by the way, make sure that you let me know because I already see that, you know, your shit is not pulling up. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's just to see, show you that I'm not capping. I'm not trying to play you or anything like that. So let, let's uh, get that situated. You feel me? So I can get into uh, some of the other people's stuff. Okay, Soldier P TV. Okay, it's under that. So let's go ahead and check out Soldier P. Uh, we are about an hour and some stuff in. I'm, I'm looking at the chat right now. I said the RZA loves how dirty the ASR made his drums. Well, there's there is merit to that. There's 1,000% merit to it. You know, uh, some of the people that you look at that have the best drums, Timberland, Ye, uh, RZA, etc. cetera, uh, the Alchemist, they drums could be degraded, all kinds of shit. It's just crazy what it does. It will not... Soldier P, Soldier P with that, with that. ESPN, ESPN TNT, TNT. Kicking, off kicking off a highlight, highlight reel type, type music, music. goddamn. Damn. Damn. What y'all think about y'all that think chat? About that chat. Damn, Damn, that shit came in hot than a motherfucker, boy. I tell you that. And I don't mean like on the, the mix itself, because one of the biggest things that made this track like jump off the goddamn screen was the mix itself. Uh, you know, and it's a good... Like this track right here isn't necessarily like the most modern track possible, but it, it definitely fits in that pocket of like, yo, like this is, we got something in the ESPN, maybe not, maybe not ESPN, like HBO documentary type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we, we go out to talk about somebody getting their ass whooped in a boxing match or something. You know what I'm talking about? Like if, uh, if Brian Gumble was a Zoomer type track, you feel me? Uh, it has that kind of vibe to it. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely get sports TV vibes for it. So I definitely would look at just putting some stuff out there, you know what I'm saying, in the world where it, even if it's like a, man, like YouTube, as far as like, I watch a lot of sports channels on YouTube because they come with it, you feel me? Like they do some of the extra research. They're usually unbiased because of sports media being so goddamn biased towards certain people and all that other stuff. and. You know, you know the vibes. I'm not gonna get into that, but this is a very good track, man. The, the the level of orchestration and just having, you know, the the drum pattern is not the most extravagant in the world. But hey, look, it's not supposed to be when you're getting your point off. And there's a lot of things in here. This this is like Spider-Man, Miles Morales two type vibes. <laughs> yeah, like I, I love the music in uh, Miles Morales, man. That the the. What did someone say in the comment section of when I was listening to the OST, like the, the title screen? Uh, and I listen to that when I'm lifting weights, too, by the way. That shit gets me hype. I'm like, yeah, boy, I'm about to push this shit the fuck up. Lightweight! Woo! Ronnie Coleman and shit. But yeah, bro. Uh, it, it gives me kind of that kind of vibe there. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to Boy Wonder, man. You know, that's the homie and whatnot. Uh, he did some of the music in uh, Spider-Man. Uh, Miles Morales, and he, they, they did a phenomenal job. Uh, I, damn, I forget you. I think it's Julio that worked alongside with them uh, that does the Spider-Man and Marvel music stuff. Uh, that very big accomplishment, man. Big shout out to the homie, man. Uh, let's go ahead and get back to it. Uh, Foxy Styles. Uh, we've been streaming for about two hours now. I'm going to try to uh, get to it. Yeah. Uh-oh. What you got?
stems would be crazy for that. Box style for the beat. First of all, mad disrespectful. Ew. So what y'all think about that chat? I already see that y'all are going for noodles for that. Wow. Nigga, this ain't no beat battle, but goddamn. Um, too many drum rolls is absolutely insane for observation. <laughs> oh man. I can't get enough of it, bruh. We're going to run that from the very beginning, bruh, and talk about it. Was not expecting it to come off like this. This is why I worry about the way I sample, because I think I'm so, when I sample stuff, I'm not thinking with my third eye at all. I don't think I think with my third eye enough. And I hear it when I go and I, I play some shit for Stolen Drums or I listen to Stolen Drums or, you know, some of my peoples uh, around the way out here in Atlanta. They go crazy. Even like Jan Hunter, uh, the way that he flips samples. It's like, bruh, why are you selecting this fucking sample? And then you're like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and this is a prime example of like, whoa, I was not expecting that. And I think a lot of people had that. And I seen Waggle was talking about, man, uh, what, did he, what did he say? He said, I'm, uh, I'm gonna hurt myself. What, what did he say? Uh, what, what did that motherfucker say? Uh, I'm gonna pass the fuck out. Okay, yeah. I, I have that same sentiment. I share that same sentiment as you, Wagga. That was nasty. And one of the things I want to compliment on this track too, uh, by the way, Fox Styles, dude, Okay, at first I was like, wait a minute, Fox Styles. I was like, hold on, man. I, I think, what? I think what you doing showing up to the beat review to show your ass, you asshole. But uh, what I really like about it is the chord progressions because the chord progressions, they match, but they do sound kind of like, oh, like a lot of, I hate when people say that about my beats. They're like, oh, well, it, it, this, this is off key. And it's like, no, it's not off key. It's just a chord that is like a ninth or like a 11th and 11th and 9th have a, a different kind of a feel that will bring they're, they're more neo soulish so they're not going to be the most you know what i'm saying not like a a, a minor seventh you know what i'm saying they're not going to be on the cuff you know what i'm saying it's like a diminished chord diminished chords don't always sound great in every scenario but sometimes they do you know what i mean so you know and I don't have a problem with the way the drums are going. Honestly, I like the breakdowns, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? He said, uh, but the name of the track is What a Fill In. And that is a really dope ass track, bro. And that has to keep that on mind. Fox Styles, you really came with that shit, for real. Needed a little boosty boost. All right, so we have uh, 29, it says. So let's go ahead and check that out. Very good joint, man. Real talk. Let's get it. We're going to listen. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, are you going to play? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. 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 LD40 was popping. Yeah, yeah, 
So this this art this was shitting two 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 nine nine produced by it's called uh, Let's Go and it's produced by Golly Genius. Um, huh? You know modern style music. You know what I'm saying? I know we're a little older in here and we <laughs> and I know. <laughs> I just started thinking about the homies meme on damn Instagram, man. Uh, A major keys. <laughs> but, you know, respect. I, I don't think this is a bad piece at all, to be honest. It might not match the audience right now, but there's some things that was executed pretty well. You know, it fits the modern vibe. You know, uh, as far as the mix, you know, there's things that probably could be fixed here or there. Um... When I listen to it in mono, it just seems like certain things as far as like the bass could be lowered a little bit, maybe. Um, maybe not as limit uh, compressed. You can tell it's kind of uh, brick wall compression here or brick wall limiting. So, you know, maybe that. But again, that's kind of the decor, the, the appeal of this particular genre is the wildly not mixed great, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and they speak in a different language too, you know. Wouldn't say, wouldn't say I would really be hyped to the lift some weights to it, you know. But I don't lift weights to a lot of modern day music. I listen to kind of like a different pockets. I was actually lifting weights to 70s, 60s, 70s R&B soul type shit the other day. I was like, damn, sitting there. How how you feel about goddamn getting 225 off your chest while you're listening to Al Green? Uh, still. <laughs> Drifting on a memory. <laughs> <Just doing this. laughs> Yo, I be while Mint Plus in the building. What's going on? You missed a mean one, boy. You missed a mean fucking joint, man. Real talk. Uh oh, did I close it out? Okay. Uh, but we gonna keep on with the keeping on. Hey man, hey, lift the way. Hey, he said. Oh oh, you know what? Uh, that's uh, uh, that's Ron Isley. Uh, that's the Isley Brothers. I'm tripping. My bad, my bad, Wagga. Wagga, uh, old ass, goddamn, had to goddamn talk shit. Yep, I went there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. That ain't out great. But, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into Ninja Boy 88. Let's, let's see what's popping here. Yeah, I, I did drop the ball on that one. Fuck y'all. That's how you know I'm old. I'm saying the wrong things. Yeah. Hey, well, I'm a, uh, yeah, you said what? I don't know. I'm a star, he's a star, taking off. You know, the messed up thing is, I had a chance to buy the original album. It was at the record shop down the street, and, been, and before they closed, and then the, the day I was going to buy it, they were closed down. I take a narc, a little oxy, with oxy, that's a star, that's a star. Throwing dark, yeah, I didn't shoot. I'm a star boy taking narcs boy fill with oxy that's a star boy flying cars boy taking off like I'm a space boy astronaut boy I'm a drink until I reap choice I reap a bad choice I'm a star boy taking narcs boy fill with oxy that's a star boy flying cars boy taking off like I'm a space boy astronaut boy I'm a drink until I reap choice I reap a bad choice I like dice like D&D Gamble in my housing keys and she gets on her knees Then she gets to pleasing me I reach turn on the TV and play some PS3 Yeah, I play some PS3, what the fuck is wrong with me? I live off that dopamine and I got cash up to my teeth That's why I got these grills so you can see the diamond shimmering and Various activities like Neptune's crown, you steal my shit I exercise my liberty, my secondary liberty This is my gun, this is my gun And issues dark, issues dark I hit a bullseye every time so draw the mark I've been bad like Mega Mine, that's from the start. From the start I line. throw these shells like I'm playing Mario Kart. Mario Kart line. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Don't talk unless you want smoke. So that was Ninja Boy sent this, but the name of uh, the person that sings this is Shoe Kid, Pim, and it's Star Boy, and it's produced by Hob Music. So, not bad. Uh, very well mixed. You know, I'm, I'm a little on the fence of the vocal performance, but I think it matches the track and the subject matter. You can tell there's a little bit of Playboy Cardi's 
also uh, what, what's the homie's name, man? I keep, man, I can't think of anybody's name right now. And it's not a, any disrespect to any of these guys. But, uh, P, uh, yeah, Pierre. Pierre Bourne. Yeah, yeah, definitely can hear those kind of, uh, of uh, inspirations in this. So, you know, it's not a bad track, though. I ain't going to hold you. This is something, you know, nonetheless, that I can hear uh, in the pocket of modern music. You know what I'm saying? Uh, is this all about what you're going to do with it? Uh, these days, if it ain't popping on TikTok or if you ain't got no, you know what I'm talking about? A white boy rapping about Mario Kart. I like it. Shit. Hey, I like Mario Kart. The, those are the vibes, man. Yeah, you better quit playing. Uh, yeah, so we got the imposter, bro. I forgot. That, I, I knew that you had sent some shit and then you had became a member, but I didn't know you had some stuff. I, I'm skipping because he's a member, okay? So don't, don't trip on me. Keep on forgetting that that was posture on the posture track. What y'all think, think about that? I keep on forgetting that posture is one of the wild boys, man. He got his trap card in there, he representing uh, the, the squad or whatnot. Yeah, the, the drum and bass, modern drum and bass style. Uh, definitely, I, I like it. Uh, the, the things that I would say need to be worked on was definitely the mix itself. You need to soften it up a little bit because it's a little rough. Like it's a little loud. I ain't gonna hold you. You can even see in the waveform in itself. The waveform is. Uh, Woo, you know what I'm saying? Look at that jump. Like, that's a big jump, you feel me? Uh, but, yeah, so I, I will kind of work on that sense there. But other than that, though, I, th I think the piece in itself is nasty. Uh, so, yeah, no doubt. I'm not bad, not bad at all. Big posture. Yeah, big posture, not the little one. Let's go with, uh, I guess that's low. Oh, I guess we ain't going with low because he did that. I ain't about to go all through all that. Uh, time stress has been up in here. He just became a member. Damn, I didn't realize that. I, I saw. I'm sorry, time stretch. I don't even know if you're in here still. But uh, let's go ahead and hear screaming. Uh oh. Cream show, nigga. Oh, we already got two in Anjovi. But thank you for the donut. I appreciate it. Fuck these goofy niggas out here talking about. Yo, stretch is about to get spooky, my G. All right, this the uh, wake up screaming like I'm getting the whoop canal. Yeah. The seats peanut butter, but the coop is brown. Snub chrome Cali in the denim. Nigga, I don't rap, I spit balls to a rhythm. The struggle of life, dummy life is a struggle. Don't get consumed by it. That Ferrari, I'm assumed by it. Never been a buster. Now, Fetty is what I lust for. Huh? If we ain't splitting no chicken, I don't trust you. Yeah, weapon is nothing to a nigga scared to squeeze. All my G's need at least quarter million dollar fees. Young and hit me out. I've been down and out. Niggas won't give you shit. That's what I had to find out. Now, really than the majority of these goofy niggas that's rapping Fact. Him on the beat and I instantly start laughing <laughs> Kilograms the size of Kendall's Honey bourbon woods and the cushions Hindu <laughs> Talons that send you flying like a car crash With my four blast, you're soon from my war path <laughs> Half I got the same heart that a whore has I got the blick and drink, twist some more gas Tattoo tears is what I shed For my scraps in the dirt and the ones in the fast Can't tell me hey, hate Niggas always hating the OG once told me that I gotta practice patience. I, I told him fuck that I need my goody now. Right Hollow now. tips from the 50 cow scattered crowds. Right One nigga run I'm like a fleet in their wrist. Run. Only niggas can see that the bottom can feel this. Yeah. yeah, I had to listen to that. That was Time Stretch Beats. Beats. Hey. hey. Um screaming. Uh, liquid content. Hmm. Uh, people have some suggestions in the chat of who they think this sounds like. I was thinking 
Definitely in the pocket of the diplomats, dipset or whatnot. Uh, more so in on camera on a little bit, you feel me? Versus like Max B. But I haven't looked, I didn't listen to a lot of Max B. Max B was on the cusp of like when the New York rappers were trying out the whole South shit because the, you know, the South rappers were whooping ass. We were starting to kind of transcend the sound and other aspects outside of like the typical Dirty South sound. And you know, uh, Dips, the Diplomats, Dipset and all that were just, you know, running along, running amok, still doing the damn thing. Uh, but I did listen to a lot of Dipset, you know, I just didn't listen to a lot of Max B. I just remember the amount of love that people were trying to give Max B uh, before I was able to, you know, press play on any of his music. Uh, the track in itself, though, is amazing, in my opinion. I think it fits with the artist, and I think the selection was great. Uh, the lyrical content was tough, you know what I'm saying? I've already sp spoke my piece on, you know, what, what, how, you know, if I'm, dude, I'm a, look, I remember wanting to be signed to Rockefeller so bad, Rockefeller Records. And, and a lot of the people that have been a part of uh, Rockefeller Records knows this personally. <laughs> You know, uh, I always had like this thing, an infatuation, especially uh, when the first Blueprint came out, man. And we all got introduced to probably one of the best uh, Jay-Z albums of all time. Uh, for me, uh, Blue is Blueprint. <sighs> what what I'm going to say? Blueprint, 444, and uh, I believe Hard Knock Life. Uh, if that's the name of the album. Or actually, you know, I'm out there one that's wild. Uh, Life in the Hard Times of Sean Carter would be definitely be my number four favorite Jay-Z album. I have all the Jay-Z's albums, except for like 444, because I was waiting for it to be released on vinyl. Um, but yes, I thought that was really good, to be honest. Uh, to be honest, that would be on my playlist, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as like just throwing up some weights and shit, Life, uh, In My Lifetime, Volume 2, Best Beats. Okay, and um, that uh, his second album was always the album that people hated. I think he, I think Jay Z hates uh, the Dynasty album the most, and that's actually one of my favorite albums by Jay Z too. It's just it has a different kind of aspect, you know. Uh, what was it? Uh, what, what was that shit called, man? One uh, Nine Hundred Hustler, I believe. That shit was crazy. That's one of my favorite tracks, favorite songs. Concept wise, um, change the game. Look, look, you, I'm a hip hop head for real. But, anyways, uh, damn butter on the track. Let's go ahead and hear what's going on. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. I would have to throw Black Album uh, on the list. That'd be in my top three for real before Life and Hard Times with Sean Carter. You're right. <laughs> so everybody thinks that the collaboration album uh, Rock La Familia was the worst one. Okay. The best of both worlds collaboration album, tough. Uh, we'll, we'll get more back into that. Uh, this joint by Damn Butter, though, is pretty tough. I like it. It's a little wild. It's kind of like complexro uh, hip hop kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? A little glitchy and in certain instances, you know what I'm saying? But I love the sample, love the drum selection, and love the, how the, the instances of different ideas of bringing in different parts of the sample uh, kind of gels together. So there's a lot to love about this track. I like the mix. I did have to turn it down a little bit, but uh, you know, I do that as a preparation to making sure that nothing goes nuts. Uh, on the topic of, of albums from Jay-Z, uh, Time Stretch brought up the R. Kelly album. To, to be honest, that album, you know, given, you know, the the situation with R. Kelly was actually pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I like Fiesta. That was dope. You know, a matter of fact, the, I believe the reason why Best of Both Worlds happened was because of the song Not Guilty on the uh, La Familia album, which was dope. You know what I'm saying? If you really listen to what Jay-Z was saying on that song, 
boy, that was the most I've heard Jay Z just really kind of put stuff in. Like you, you know, this is his thoughts for for real, like for real, for real. Because there was a lot going on at the time. You got to put it together. And he actually, uh, uh, they came to my university at that particular time to perform. Uh, and I was introduced because one of the, one of my peoples, by by the way, and I'm not gonna say who it is, worked alongside. He was in school and he worked with uh, Jay Z. And I remember everybody uh, everybody clowning him like, man, you don't work with Jay Z. You don't do nothing for that. No, 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 no. And then he got them to perform. Uh, I don't think Jay Z didn't perform. Like Jay Z was just chilling. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, best headphones, in my opinion, it's hard to uh, call it, but if you can't go wrong with the Bear Dynamic DT770s, you can't go wrong with a pair of, of uh, Audio Technica MTX, uh, I can't remember if it's M50s, XM50s or whatever, or M50X or something like that. You can't go wrong with that. But, yeah, man, uh, there, was, there was a lot to, to like about that R. Kelly album, but uh, at that particular time, the hip hop was in a weird space anyways. Uh, the 2000s and 2000s up to 2005 this was really strange you had the coming of age with 50 cent 50 cent was really about to get his uh his two cents into the game um and then we all know what happened after that so yeah uh, M oh so it's m50x cool the dt9 yeah the uh, the dt90 pro x's are fired open back headphones those are great they're just not great for recording a you know what i'm saying just in case you had to pass them off or if you're someone that records at home uh you're going to get a lot of bleed because they're open backs but uh, yeah i agree with uh some 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 on that overlord up in this bitch what's going on i see he just dropped something in here let's go ahead and listen uh-oh might have to run it back hey this is overlord on the track this is discord Turn it up, though. Melavita, <laughs> pause. But that was Overlord, and uh, damn. Overlord just came through just to do what he do, huh? I like that for you, you know what I'm saying? Very nasty, very nasty. Tough, tough, tough shit. Um, Tuba Sports asked me, have I tried to invitate a H90? So I'm, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look it up real quick. Let's go ahead and look that up real quick. Uh, let me not close that out, because I definitely wanna keep that open. Uh, even tight. Let me go ahead and uh, grab that from the chat. But yeah, that was a really dope joint, man. Uh, let's uh, check out what he talking about. Let's go ahead and uh, get some music in the background here. But yeah, definitely, man. Um, like we was talking about earlier, uh, before. Oh, okay. I see. It's a pedal. That's what I thought it was. Um, this Steven Tide. Um, I'm not a fan of pedals that are hybrid digital versus like pedals that are built. I mean, most pedals have digital aspects to them now anyways, like all the, the, what, what's that company that makes that console uh, one? And they just, they make, they're just known for dropping probably the best pedals in the biz right now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I like my pedals to just be like homegrown type regular shits. You know what I'm saying? I don't like the digital, the digital stuff is kind of like a distraction when it comes to pedals for me. Um, nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it though. Cause if I was gonna get that, I might as well just go and fuck with M, M Music brand and get their 
uh, was it head rush pedal? Like they, it's not like they didn't try to reach out to me when I was trying to gain, when I was trying to do things on the uh, the guitar side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, they like there's a lot of good headphone companies out. As long as you're spending, like, look, I, one thing about headphones for me is just like, uh, if I spend it, it better be worth it. You know what I'm saying? So if I spend a hundred dollars plus. They better be solidified and not overly balanced in a particular band. Like with Beats by Dre headphones, they are too overbalanced in bass. And that's actually the appeal, you know what I'm saying, of the Beats by Dre headphones. You know, I will never ever speak of those again. No disrespect. Um, but when it comes to headphones, they, they have to be perfectly balanced. Uh, I love the DT770s. You know, they're affordable now. They, they actually have a new look to them. If you get a, if you happen to buy them now, they look different from the ones on my head. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my traveling headphones would be the Audio-Technica M50X. Uh, those are phenomenal for mixing uh, an overall project if you're just mobile, you know? Uh, my just if you want to go wireless blah 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 then these right here uh if you can spare the 350 dollars uh uh these iii tma2 plus you know big shout out to iii for being a, gr a big supporter of the channel uh, i really love what they have done especially in the wireless world because they are low latency wireless uh, unless you use bluetooth if you use the bluetooth then they're not going to be low latencies but so and i very rarely use them for that uh, they, they're a teeny bit a little too overbalanced in the bass, so they're not, you can make them flat though. And that's the one thing about the eye. You, you got an app that you can make them sound like you want. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Bose. I'm not a huge fan of Bose. Bose had their time. Uh, their time has passed. I think everybody else has stepped their shit up. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're going to check out uh, Gary Smith, man. Gary's been in here at the very beginning. I don't know if he's still here, so I do apologize to you, Gary, for not being able to check it out. What we're going to do is check it out, though. So, you know, and, and we can keep on talking if you want to ask. If you want to ask questions and stuff like that, guys, I'm here. Oh, I, I, if I, and I, I do apologize if I didn't uh, compliment uh, or talk about uh, Overlord. But, yeah, it's quite obvious that shit was fire. That was Gary that was Smith Gary on the track. What y'all think about that, chat? Alright. Y'all over here talking about headphones and, and uh, like audio companies, and I, I just I can't let it go. I, I just want to be a part of the conversation. And I think I saw uh, we'll, we'll close out the show, but yeah. Uh, I like it. Um, there's some things I might, I would say to be conscious of, Gary, that those high strings, you might as well just lower the volume on it so it doesn't be so much of a distracting shin in the track but it's not so bad uh i like the arrangement in itself and some interesting chord progressions are used and you know they kind of congeal themselves to make a decent uh composition so not bad brother not bad uh i know people was uh, we was talking about bows and stuff like that i mean bows at one time they were the the audio team to fuck with you know what i mean like if you just had stock speakers in your car and they were bows bro you was in there you know what i mean uh, and they kind of shine in different aspects, but if we're just talking about like casual listening and stuff like that, they they pass the they they fit the bill, you know what I mean? But not as much as 
what they did prior. Like, dude, I got TCL speakers in my room. The only problem that I have with the TCL speakers, and when I say speakers, I mean like a sound bar, is that uh, audio passing through, most movies these days have this weird shit where they're extremely low during the talking parts, especially like action films, horror films, and so forth, and then they're extremely loud just to kind of uh, sinuate or to boost the mood of the screen or what the action is on the screen. And that's always been a pet peeve of mine uh, with Hollywood. But what I wish uh, an audio company would do to kind of circumvent that was, is to provide a brick wall limiter uh, within your surround sound system or, or surround bar. So that way, when people are talking, you know, the, the lower peaks get risen and it won't like overtake the impact. You know what I'm saying? Because the bass will be the bass. You know, frequency balance is always going to be the exact same no matter what. You know what I mean? So that's the the one is one of the biggest issues that I have with like uh, kind of judging surround systems and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, though, I would not want to wear a pair of Bose headphones now. I don't think they compete with some of the brands that's been around for a while, like Sennheiser, uh, Bayer Dynamic, um, Audio Technica. You know what I'm saying? The new the new boys on the block, uh, I, 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 which are taking it a step further. You know, there's just too many. Yamaha, which is another brand. I actually did a review. I've had this review for a long fucking time, and I just not put it out. And, you know, I, I think my initial thoughts of it was, oh, no, no, no. I did put out the Yamaha uh, review. I, I don't think I put out the Audio Technica review. That's the one that, that's been sitting in my damn folder forever but you know the yamahas are are okay i think the biggest issue with them is that they're so much like the classic ns10s you know what i'm saying they're supposed to be like ns10s for your head for your ears or whatnot you know what i'm saying and so the problem with that uh you don't hear certain bass, bass frequencies being represented like they should be and that's the main thing that I didn't like about the Yamaha branded studio monitor, studio headphone monitor, whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, not like how Sennheiser's uh, HD Pros, you know, they they kind of have a, a, a pill that I enjoy. And they were like, I believe they might have been 49 or 80 ohms. I can't remember uh, what the Sennheiser's were, but I recommend those. And the Dynamic DT770's 80 ohms, I recommend those. Uh, but if you want to like kind of walk around and you you know use the bear by air dynamics or whatnot on your smartphone or whatnot you're gonna have to get like a 49 ohm pair of headphones uh the one of the things i don't like about the iis is that they're 49 ohms i think 80 ohms would have been great but i understand why they went with 49 ohms because more people are going to use those wireless to listen you know what i'm saying than anything and if you wanted to, like a pair of like wireless headphones for like your MPC or something like that, then bruh, like, you know, you're in the pocket there and then you're gonna get the everything, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty critical like you guys when it comes to headphones. Um, I would love to have a pair of open back headphones. I, I think that was the last thing I wanted to do uh, because not only of some, 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 but uh, my homie that I, I barely, rarely see or talk to and I do feel bad because he's a good person, uh, Mr. Different. Uh, he swears by the DT 900s and you know open back headphones their true advantage is that their dynamic range is a broad is broader than uh, closed back you know what I'm saying because the frequencies have room to breathe and escape but the accuracy is on is far further on point than it would be for you know closed back headphones uh, but you know I've been rocking with closed back headphones for a while now I've been a headphone corner store for a minute. I've had skull candies, trash. I've had, and, and someone said something about Sony's uh, headphones. Oh no, the Sony MDRs that I had from back in the day, they were excellent. I just think that they kind of lacked on certain aspects too. Um, but I did use them for years on end and I was upset when, you know, they went out. They have the one issue that many headphones of the modern time do not have. and. You know, I fucked these up a couple of times, tripped over them, and both sides still work. You know, knock on wood that they don't stop working because I'd be sad then. But yeah, uh, there are more expensive brands. The companies that have reached out to me about doing headphone reviews because they know I'm a headphone connoisseur and I definitely want to do a, a wrap up of that.
Uh, oh, much love to you, uh, Ace Bullet. S uh, Sennheiser. Yeah, bro. Uh, try them, DJ Scratch. I, 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 I will not lead you in the wrong direction. They're, they're under 100 bucks, you know, when you go to like Sam Ash or Guitar Center, and you'll be surprised. You'd be surprised. Uh, and I, I haven't wore a pair of Sony, but I've seen them. They have revamped their headphone line, and they have some that's under $100, like they're close to $100 that are very good and then, you know, they're trying to make, since, you know, the PS5 is like the only gaming system to really be kicking ass. Well, no, that's a lie because the Nintendo Switch is thriving out there, but that's Nintendo, man, you know what I'm saying? If you can play Mario Brothers on the PS5, bro, a lot of people will play, play a PS5, you feel me? So, yeah, you know, nonetheless, I, I, I digress on that, but that, that's kind of my thoughts. That's kind of my thoughts. Uh, so you see, yeah, the Sony MD, uh, Sony 7506s, the Audio Technica M40s, uh, the Shure. Yeah, I haven't tried any of the Shure shit. You know what I'm saying? Any recommendations for an affordable turntable to sample and listen to? Uh, my main recommendation is under my MPC video. I'll just go ahead and pull that up. Uh, it's under this video. It is uh, the one that I use the most. I've actually used it uh, to sample on the Teenage Engineering KO too. You can see it more so on this video than anything. So, you know, uh, that's my recommendation for there. You can see it, uh, right there. Uh, maybe I gotta roll it back. I did kind of jump into this video. I did that on purpose intentionally so that people stay. Uh, but the PT1, uh, the uh, the Newmark PT01 Scratch, uh, they did raise the price on it, the PT01, if you want to check that out. Uh, of course, my link is an affiliate link, so I ain't going to hold you there. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is something I like. Um, if you want to spend a little bit more money, there are, you can get one. Uh, you can get uh, another one. There's a Humble Audio. But nine times out of 10, they always run out of that. And it's called the Omni or something like that. And it costs way more. I think it's like three, $400, but it has uh, two faders on the side. So if you're into scratching or anything like that, it's still portable. It can still play uh, 12s and 7s. So that's one of the things that I like about the PT-01 uh, Scratch is that it does that. I believe they have, there's another one uh, that I was shopping for uh, back in the day too uh, that I, I was going to get. I, th I believe it's made by Reloop. Maybe it's in my... It's maybe it might be in here. See, it's the stand one. This one doesn't play uh, 12s though. That's the big sucky thing about it. Uh, I don't know what M Music brand was thinking when they allowed that to go through. Like what? <laughs> like who's buying sevens? You know what I'm saying? They was just thinking about portable scratch DJs, I guess. Uh, Reloop turntable. Let's turn uh, Reloop portable turntable, I guess. Reloop turntable. I just type that in. Do, 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 do. Boom. Let's see. Da, 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 da. So you can scratch scratch on belt drives. Well, on the PT-01 Scratch or any of the portable DJ uh, turntables, it doesn't really matter in that sense. You know what I'm saying? Because the you know sevens don't weigh that much, so they're you know they're not going to be as uh, detrimental as like if you used to buy a belt driven turntable. Uh, and these are all direct drive. Oh no, this one is belt driven. Whoa, why the fuck? And then there are some things about direct drive turntables that suck, but. Um, the thing about belt driven turntables if, is if you buy if you buy a really expensive one, the audio quality is uh, going to be different. It's going to hit different. You're going to hear every inch of your fucking groove on your vinyl, um, which isn't always the greatest thing in the world. Uh, all things considered, if you haven't cleaned, if you don't clean your vinyl, like I clean my vinyl with uh, where's my shit at? I clean my vinyl all the time when I listen to it with uh, vinyl styles, this uh, brush right here and you can kind of scrape it. You can always get like a, what you, what you call a wood, like wax. And you can, if you really want to get into the cleaning your records and stuff like that. But uh, the Reloop Spin Portable uh, Belt Driven Turntable System, this one's really good. Uh, I believe you can reverse the faders and stuff like that too. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't going to just sit here and pitch nothing but in music brand shit. But, you know, Reloop, uh, big shout out to all my peoples over there. Uh, big shout out to Qbert. I believe Qbert is over there too. Um, now and uh, big much love to all my peoples over there uh, but yeah this is pretty good you know uh, much bigger uh, but it's portable though you know what I'm saying uh, it comes with a uh, top shell you know what I'm saying 
uh, it has a speaker on it. The PT-01 Scratch has a speaker on it. I think this one, the big advantage on this one, if I can see it, uh, come on, dude. Come on, dude, is the different speeds. Like if you are into scratching ultra pitch or if you wanna use like ultra pitch, which is a big factor. And, and mind you, you can on the new Mark PT-01 Scratch, it's a, like a, a Jimmy Dean. He has a lot of mods, but you have to get into opening up your uh, Newmark PT-01 Scratch and modifying it yourself. You know what I'm saying? That was a big thing. Uh, big shout out to the homie DJ Idea. I know he still does mods and stuff in my, on the DJ scene. So I'm, I'm deep out here in these streets now. I'm, I might not look like it, but uh, let me see here. Did it, uh, Bluetooth streaming your music. I don't, I don't think the uh, PT-01 has Bluetooth though. You know what I'm saying? So that just in that case, because if you have a pair of like these uh, speakers right here from I, let me type in I, I, I real quick. Oop, oop. And uh, I'll leave y'all with food for thought. Do, 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 do. You didn't want go there. Oh, they sell those at Perfect Circuit? Oh, that's, oh, they sell them at fucking Sweetwater. I know them motherfuckers been getting on my nerves. I don't care about affiliate links and shit like that any anymore. You know, those days for me, it's just like, ah, Oh, they're out of stock. Wow. I'm not surprised because these right here are very, very popular. Uh, you know, you could, uh, they're low latency, but you can use it for Bluetooth. These speakers are at, they kick ass in a room that isn't too big. Uh, I don't have the bumper case though. And I don't have the carrying case either, unfortunately. Uh, but I think they said it was going to send one to me. You know what I'm saying? Th this, these are really good. I mess with these. I have, I def I've yet to do a review on them. So. I had a pair of old Technique 1200s and sold them and wished to, uh, I would not have, yeah, trust me. Yeah, that's, that's almost everybody. It's gear that, you know, you let go because <laughs> things change. I remember the CDJ era, you know what I'm saying? The CDJ era spoke, uh, <laughs> that did a lot. But anyways, uh, we're gonna wrap this up. I've been streaming for about almost three hours, two hours and 51 minutes to, to be exact. Uh, I greatly appreciate everybody joining in. It's like 8 p.m. over here on the East Coast. I know on the West Coast is like 5 p.m., uh, 42 degrees clear. I want to go ahead and kick it with the family or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, uh, play some PlayStation, play some other games. But anyways, uh, y'all have a good evening. I really do appreciate y'all. I'm going to try to make sure that I stay on schedule. Uh, big, big 29 episode um, next week, or not next week, but next month, March, will be uh, episode 30. And then uh, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do from there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I do appreciate all of the support from the chat. Uh, all of the donos, the three new members, the 75 likes, and, and a pretty decent chunk of people on here. Uh, no, no doubt, peace. You know, and, and I, I, try to, I try to do my best. I didn't do uh, as good as I should. But, you know, eh, it is what it is. Y'all have a good day. Peace. The sequence.